James Whale Unleashed. Uh, let me remind you again that we're back tomorrow on our Sunday show. We have our faith panel and uh, we'll be discussing a lot of interesting things. We'll have doctor in the house when we look at some medical issues of the week. Uh, our mental health or mind matters um, issue, we'll have that as well. Plus lots and lots of calls, I hope, and messages from you. I can see that the rugby one, absolutely, we tackled that one well. Boom, boom. Um, I will tomorrow. In the meantime, have a wonderful evening. I'll leave you James Well Unleashed. This is Talk TV. For the news that matters, for the opinions that matter, for the stories that matter, find me, Vanessa Feltz, every weekday at 4 pm, only on Talk, on TV, on radio, online, and on your smart speaker. We're here. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. They have made a statement condemning Hamas. We expect to see the Crown revisit Harry's anti-Semitic Halloween costume. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Israelis are very conciliatory. All they want is to be recognised. The timing of this Hamas attack comes because there was the expectation there was going to be a deal done to normalising relations with Saudi Arabia. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. Reshuffles usually very dull. This one has booster rockets attached to it. Certainly the tone has shifted in terms of what Rishi Sunak uh, has done. The question now is what he does next. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The COVID inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. Talk TV has spoken exclusively to a member of the Blade Runners. Do you have a message for Sadiq Khan? We're not stopping until you stop. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> That is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walked into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> yeah. This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Do you mm -hmm. think people underestimate how important music is for this country? It's about 10 times the size of the fishing industry. So the music industry, although it looks fun and glamorous, it's a tough, tough yeah. industry. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. Why did Nat West ever think she was worth her full payoff. Is anybody who's working for an institution funded by the taxpayer worth 11 million yeah. pounds? I and I would what, say what the absolutely heck? not. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. So. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm I'm going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? with you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that.
if you loved the fireworks with Sadiq Khan, you'll absolutely hate that was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night with Lois Perry, James Benbridge, Pete Barnes, and of course the lovely Howard Cox. I hate you, you woke little dick. <laughs> Ah, right. OK, very good evening. Welcome to uh, James Whale Unleashed with uh, that. Yeah. And uh, before we start, I must put this out right to those of you who are stupid, thick and idiotic. Uh, this programme is not designed at you. If you are a person who would refuse to be called up and fight in the British Army, this is not a programme for you. Because no, I've signed up. He signed up. I didn't even wait for the um, papers. Because, to come in through. the words of Angela Rayner, yeah. possibly the uh, ten next, oh, we're, we're completely stuffed. Uh, the next deputy prime minister, uh, you're scum, complete and utter scum. Uh, if you're easily offended, you get the idea. Do not watch or listen to this show. On Talk TV and Talk Radio, from seven o'clock on a Saturday night, we bring you three hours of Frank discussion whoever frank is can be hurtful we occasionally go uh and it's apparently so that's hating so if you are one of those people who don't like me mm. and complain all the time uh so so you you do that a lot do you yeah i mean honestly uh so all those things take into consideration if you can put up with them join us for the show went up a lot in the rage yard didn't it yeah, yeah. yeah thank you very much indeed for those lovely people watching Thanks, um, man. 37%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the number on the screen to call. There we are. Uh, you usually do the finger. Yeah, there's yeah, my okay, finger, man. There you are. Call so that very, in that order. Yeah. Zero. Very important. Uh, for those of you guys on radio, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Okay, loads of uh, you listening to this show as well. Um, if you want to watch it on TV, we're there. But, it's better uh, if you see our beautiful faces. I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure that's right. But anyway, 0344 499 1000. If you're not prepared to fight for this country, we don't want you living here. Yeah. Go away. I have to keep remembering it's we'll 7 o'clock. just put them on the front line, that's all. That's what they did in the first yeah. world. We'll and if you come rifle. to this country and you don't like it, as many people profess to, all those bunch of idiotic fools and stupid billocks mm. marching through London today yeah. going, uh, what were they going, save Palestine, free I mean, Palestine? Hamas have turned the ceasefire down. They yeah. should be, that's who they should be protesting but to. Ceasefire now. OK, so if, uh, if I'm the, the Prime Minister and I say uh, to uh, Israel, I say uh, ceasefire yeah. now. You think that's going to work? Well, they've offered Why? Hamas one. They don't want one. Yeah. So you're stupid as well. But if you want to ring us, you have freedom of speech too. Paula, good morning, good evening, good afternoon in Halifax. Yeah. It's, it's still overdue. morning. It's still morning yeah. in Halifax. <laughs> good afternoon, James. Hi, Ash. Uh, oh, man, right. um, Hello, Paula. I'm ringing, I'm ringing, James, because I'm literally tearing my hair out. Good. Um, well, don't do no, too much. Not, you'll end up not, looking like me. That's not good. <laughs> oh, and I've got your two new viewers, my oh. mum and my sister. Are they? Do they come up in the ABC One category? Can we get to? Can we get to Paula's point? Yeah, we need quality. Can we get to Paula's point? Otherwise, yeah. we'll be going Sorry. on before. We... Sorry, yeah. Paula, go on. No, it's okay. Um, you know, before I told you, James, that um, I've got rats. Yes. Oh, sorry. What you remember? She's oh, you've got. got oh, sorry. I thought it says something. They else. dance on rats. your bed yeah. in front of yeah. the council. And the council yeah. just go. Well, that's just dust. Yeah. Okay. So, how, yeah, and, and we. Right. And you did say right. it'd ring last, up again. Last. Last week, mm. um, sorry, two weeks ago, they put me through a mental health assessment. They uh, made me yeah. go through a Because you're calling dust rats. Hang on, have you got rats? Yes, have I have. Have you taken photographs of the rats? I've got rats. They've been jumping on my bed. Have you taken sleep. photographs to prove it? I can't take photographs to prove it. You said they, they were dancing me. rats. You're right. making Thank it you very me. much indeed, Paula. Let's talk to Daniel in Shropshire. Daniel. If you've got problems like rats, go to the local authority. If they won't do anything... No, but they put you in a, men a ring mental institution if you no, do that. No, no. Ring don't your local member of parliament and give them a hard They'll time. They'll take you away. I don't think that was a true story. Uh, Daniel. But she's consistent. Yeah. Yes, hello, James. Yes, uh, Daniel. First thing I just want to say, absolutely love your guys' show. Your guys' no-nonsense attitude is just fantastic. Thank you, Daniel. My head is swelling. I think he meant I me hear. more than you. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, OK, fine, yeah. Uh, I'd um, like to talk about this whole, um, obviously, the past week with the uh, the PM that's had to resign due to Islamist threats and, yeah. you know, all this stuff has gone on since the protest. Yeah, the MP. Protest. Stephen Freer, yeah. was it? Stephen Freer. Yes, mm. yeah. Well, the thing is, 
what I don't understand is, obviously, the definition of an Islamist is somebody who wants religious political change in society. Yeah. Now, under Islam, that only means they're advocating for, essentially, Sharia law. Daniel, if I can just yeah. interrupt you, OK? I yeah. don't care what religion anybody out there has... But once your religions begin to take over and be stronger than the government of the country, I get really annoyed. Now, you oh, can have extremist totally Christians, extremist Jews, and at the moment we have extremist Islamists, all of which I'd send to a, a Muslim country if I had the power tomorrow. This government is weak. The civil servants are even weaker. So I agree with you. A lot of them have been expelled from Islamic countries for being too uh, fundamentalist. Well, and if you come well, to this country, hang on, Daniel, let's get this out, Daniel. If you come to this country, you come here because you love us. If you want to come here and live as if you're in another country and have all your religious higgledy-piggledy all over the place, re wear religious clothes and things, we don't do that But they that want to come here, here and change it. Well, when I say yeah. we don't, the, the, the Jews, some Jews do, and some Christians do. You know, they wear... Uh, and they, no, they don't want to change the law of the country. No. So I don't want anyone who won't fight for this country, because let's face it, what is happening at the moment, we are almost in the Third World War. Well, they fight against this country. Loads of, loads of kids went out and fought against this country. Yeah. Shemima Begum. And they need, to, they need to be locked away for yeah. uh, their entire lives. Um, I'd put them down. The point, I, the point I'm making is what I think the government, especially the Prime Minister, needs to do is come out on the steps of number 10 and simply say, if you are advocating for any form of religious political ideology in this country, that you will be removed. Totally agree with you, Daniel. Thank you very much. We could, you know, a politician can do that. They have the power to do that, to change the law. I was watching being interviewed on Nick's show earlier on today, a miserable bloke, he, an immigration lawyer going on about what we'll do or what we won't. I mean, it just annoys mm. me. These yeah. immigration, if you're an immigration lawyer, ring me and justify your flipping money you get. Uh, Janice in Essex. Janice. Hi, guys. Lovely yeah. to see you. Yeah, looking, well, you say that now. Looking gorgeous, as usual, Jane. Uh -huh. Janice, um, that's very sweet. What can we do for you? Uh, right, I've, I've just heard something that I find quite startling. Um, I just heard somebody saying that the amount of Chinese immigrants that are coming over with South Americans that are going into America and basically coming over to Europe. Now, they, have a, they had a one-child policy... And they yeah. all their young men. So the Chinese get to together with the South Americans, go to America and in Janice, infiltrate Europe. Do me a favour. Stop going on social media mm. and looking at news stories on there. You get the wrong thing. Jeff, good evening. Hi, oh, guys. Sorry, but that's it. It's just. Stupid. Well, let's hope she's wrong. About and that. I don't. You don't see loads of Chinese people hanging around, causing trouble, going on strike. They run Unless businesses. Unless you're that Brendan pianist. They make in King's like, Cross. Then they, they cause a problem. Then they cause trouble, yes. and then they get kicked out and told yeah. we don't want you. But a lot of Chinese people come here, loads of people from Hong Kong, because well, they you know, to, it's yeah. part of Britain. To get freedom. Yeah, uh, and they work hard. You hardly ever find a Chinese person... Well, you've been Chinese for a couple yeah. hundred years, hasn't there? Yeah. yeah. Jeff. Hello? Yes, Jeff, go. Yes, about conscription. Yeah. Um, I would happily join. I'm 67 years of age. Will and you I'm be a nuisance, yeah, Jeff? You'd be a total yeah. flipping nuisance. You've still, like, still got your eye in, though, I'd haven't you, Jeff? I'd be like Private Jones. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Well, I'm you might be able to do. I don't think we're ever going to have war like that again. It'll be annihilation or nothing. But do you remember Godfrey from that documentary? He's too old Army. as well. He was yeah. too old. He was actually a First World War hero in real life. He was a. Um, but Jeff, you would be a nuisance, I'm afraid, on the front line. No, so, uh, like, 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 like me, Jeffrey, you and I will be too old and too much of trouble to go and fight on the front line. We need fit young men and some women to fight on the line. And Mark, I've got in uh, line for uh, him being... Is it Mark? Yeah, call him Mark. Yeah, Mark, Mark. Mark. Uh, Jeff, thank you for that. Violetta in St Albans. Yes, Violetta. Yes, hello. Am I this time talking to Jamie Boy or a taxi dispenser? I beg your pardon? It's a taxi dispenser. Where would you want to go? No, you're being stupid. If you're going to call in and be this oh. stupid, don't bother. Oh. Uh, zero I'm three. Four... Oh. stupid. Don't you, you swear are. on my show... Don't no, you dare. Show. Every you single every up. single time you ring in, you annoy me. And if I annoy you so much, you go, and, me? go and listen to something else. I don't want you on here. 
Oh, she's lovely. No, you don't no, want to on there. She's a, a sister in the NHS. Get rid of her. Don't put her on again. She goes in the same place as Ken the Christian. Sorry, Lionel. No, I don't. She's still there. When do you get the stupid no. woman off my programme? He's compared you with Ken. No, no, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come in here. <laughs> Come in here now. I would love Not to be you, with you, you stupid. Get her off there. Because she will pull you by your ears. Put I do ears. have a Come message. I know it's not even working now. Turn it off. I'm absolutely serious now. Turn it off. Mm. Right. That's your last warning. No. You No. Serious. I'm absolutely serious now. This is no, no joke. No, not no, messing no, about. No, no. I'm serious now. You will be sacked. And I don't, yeah, Mark. For God's sake, if you what do that got? again, it's Chuck. It's uh, Chuck who's doing it. Have we got any chocolate? Are you sure today for our Rocher or whatever? Have a word with Chuck. It's not me. I'm not even. The well, you're the one anymore. in charge of it, though. You should be stopping. He's saying Chuck. no. He said uh, Chuck, Chuck is out. Chuck's saying it isn't him. Yeah, Chuck he's says, saying it Chuck isn't. Chuck says I'll sack you if you don't annoy James. Does, he said that. Is that what he said? He said that. Those exact words. Why have you got that eco warrior haircut? Look at his silly haircut. I saw you eco warrior. He's a bridge blocker. Right, you go. He blocks bridges. You know. You don't block bridges. He looks like Let's he talk to Peter, talk. honestly. Oh, can I just say, no, when, when we get people like that, they are not actors or actresses. A lot of people say we make up these little skirmishes. We don't. It's freedom of speech. Anyone rings in. I don't have you the callers. It's checked. like immigration on the boats. Everyone gets in, but we kick them out quicker. Uh, <laughs> Pete in London, you're on the air. Hi, Pete. Hi, James. <laughs> yes, I'm Pete. Pete, Aussie, Pete. I'm a veteran. Unfortunately, yep. I've got... Um, a medical discharge out the army, so obviously I've got a disability. How old are you, Pete? I'm 52. Well, thank you for I'm... doing your bit for this country. What were you in? What regiment or uh, unit? I was in the Royal Artillery. The Artillery? The Royal Artillery? Yeah. Yep. Nice. And I spoke to quite a few friends over the last week, and they were all quite happy to sign up and rejoin again and serve the country. But they don't want people mind. like us, Pete. They want people, young people. I'm glad to say as a, a member of my family in the forces, just joined up, and, uh, and and hopefully a lot of kids are not like the scumbos we see marching through mm. uh, cities going... Um, useless. What, yeah, I mean, just useless, useless people. If you want to go and uh, demonstrate for, uh, <laughs> apparently, a ceasefire... Even if our government said, well, we, they've said they agree to a ceasefire, they want yeah. it to end as soon as it can. Israel offered but, a ceasefire, they yeah. don't want to do it. They to release the hostages. And Hamash. 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 I'm hungry. Hamas. Hamas. Yeah, hummus, hummus, hummus and potatoes. Hummus and potatoes, yeah, Hamash. Hamas yeah. um, actually yum, yum. refused to lay down their weapons and stop fighting, and their yeah. whole ideology is to get rid of the state of Israel. So... Um, what can you do? They, if they, people they won't repeat it, sign yeah. up to fight, not many people will, because I've spoken to people in the army who say, we don't want conscripts, they're useless. Yeah. Uh, but if people actively walk around the streets uh, demonstrating in favour of those who are against this country, yeah. then I suggest you bugger off and go somewhere else. It's they're very, calling for the very to bomb our ships, yeah. make us proud, you know, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah Pete, That's well done, well done, well done again. Uh, what, what's this? Uh, whale, you, oh, this is nice. This is the sort of thing I like. Uh, whale, you are an idiot. The Chinese are pouring into America via Mexico. Stop making a virtue of your ignorance. You know, yeah. whatever happens in America is not a problem. Because we have enough of our own. She said the Chinese get to go with South Americans, go to America and infiltrate yeah. Europe. That will be whoever the there. woman who was who... Uh, James. Who, yeah. No, it's not. Just put that on the bottom. Yeah, anyone can do that. Uh, Meppy. It's an unusual name. Hello, James. Yes, Meppy, what do you hey, want? Hey, I, I, I've not spoken to you, son. I'm 93 years old. I've spoken to you 25 years ago. You and uh, Nash. Uh, you, you, uh, talk, I remember. Talk, I remember talk. like it was yesterday, I've yeah. I was going all the time to you, son. And, yeah. and you know what? I'm not your son. I was doing my bonnet on teeth. And, and, and you were a schoolboy at the time, I remember. I, yeah. I, I Ma bump, Mappy, I Mappy that's Mappy, really but nice, but as boring as local BBC radio like and TV. It, so what is it you want to say? Uh, well, what I say is, James, I was only told by my son and I, I could not believe he went back. You, you were talking about getting rid of these criminals. Don't let them into the country. You were talking about uh, these Jimmy Cranky and all them. And I knew right away, there was only one man that was say that was James Whale. And you so were... I turned on the telly and, I, and you're on it. And you yeah. know what? You talk sense, son. 
Thank you very much indeed. He's obviously Thank drunk. You. No, you're a censor. You get the uh, accolade for the caller of the, of the day of the in the first uh, few minutes. calls we've had. Thank you very much nice one. indeed. Mappy. Mappy. Breaky. We're here. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about sport today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you'd trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday. Um, uh, we slick it, cool and timorous beastie. Open up panics in thy beastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so many politicians now who just said my dad was a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win. He obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that's done is actually make him more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, or that's the way it comes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should a mass stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Oh, that's good. You just cough right at the beginning when we start. Thank you very much indeed. An old friend of ours uh, that I knew you'd like us to interview today, former RMT Assistant General Secretary, uh, responsible of this guy, it might not go very well, responsible of this guy for all the strikes and the bad feeling at the moment. Not at the moment. He well, used to be like that. That's, that's as left, James. You have to keep up with the times, They're all mate. the you same. Have to keep up. That was the line in yeah. Narnia. Was it? Yeah. Anyway, Steve, welcome to the programme. Last time Steve came on, he brought us ties. Yeah, yeah. and a T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd have brought you books and you haven't given me anything at all no. in return. Well, that's how it works, isn't it? I mean, Hang on. Not... We're plugging your book. Well, that's true, but, but yeah. I thought you could we... have sorted me out a mug or something at least, you know? You, you want a mug? I yeah. told him he could nick yeah. a mug, we'll right. turn I've, a blind I've eye. i finished the coffee, right. hold on. Oh, we'll turn a blind eye. Not, you, not a used mug. You can have a glass oh. as well, I've got a glass. That's used by James Well, people who pay for that. So you've got this, you brought this book out, you've become a writer. Yeah. Okay, this is called The Dairy Boy, which is yeah. where you're from. Yeah. Or if I really wanted to get under your skin, I'd call you The London Dairy Boy. Yeah, two but different places. I have, I have been there, so I do know. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice little town. It's a very pretty little town. Mm -hmm. In, uh, if I, I often say, before uh, we get into some sort of argument about this or all of that, mm -hmm. um, it's, Northern Ireland is a place that people should go. If you haven't been, and lots of people go, I don't want to go over there. I've been very many times, and it's beautiful up around the north... Antrim Coast, it's all beautiful. around it is, there, it is beautiful absolutely place, yeah. beautiful. Belfast onto the Belfast Lock and all that, it's lovely. Anyway, 
Right, we're not in here to do that. We're here to talk about Derry Boy, the new book by uh, Steve Headley, who is a former RMT Assistant General Secretary. Um, your thoughts, first of all, I suppose, on, on how your uh, uh, predecessor and the other, not predecessor, the other way around, um, how the uh, leaders of the unions are doing at the moment and why are we in such a ridiculous state? Well, I think the, the leaders of the unions have gone soft, actually. I think the deals that they have done, um, they've, they've settled for half the rate of inflation in most places. ASLEF are holding out because um, they're, they're asking them to settle for less than half the rate of inflation and a load of job. But not it's, over 15 years, it's gone up quite more than inflation, has it? If you look at like well, the 15 that, 20... That's not true, Ash. I mean, oh, if you sure. look at it, they haven't had a pay rise in five years. The, yeah, but over 15 is, years, it's actually about 50% pay no, It's no, quite a that's, big pay rise. That's not true. I mean, if you, if, you look, if you look at it in, re, in real terms, it's gone down by about a third. But when the drive's on about 40 on and on 60 on. Hang on. No, they the won't. they're still on 60, yeah. but that's, that's worth... They were on 40. That, that's, oh. worth, that's worth 40. Damn, but, they're but only on 60. Yeah, no. They start that, on those. You, 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 you wouldn't get out of bed for that, James, money. would you? They only do four that's, hours that's, driving that's, a day. a couple of weeks for you. They only drive four hours a day. If you really believe that, you're really not in touch with reality. But I think you'll find that 60 grand a year, nobody has any sympathy. It's the easiest job in the world being a train yeah. driver. Is it? So, yeah, You've ever done it then, James? You drove a train. Have you have driven a train? I actually have sat in and driven oh, oh, one. You have sat in a train. Well, you haven't drove let, one. They wouldn't let me. You don't need <laughs> to do anything. It's the easiest job in the world and you've never the done it. The easier. You can laugh well, as you, much as you like. It's the easiest job in the world. It must be easy. They do it every day. You don't even need a driver. And all you do is hold well, you the do public. Need a driver. You don't. You do need all a driver. the public, you're holding them to hostage at the right. moment. Oh, there, I know there we go. I know cliches. James, I've known you 20 years and you haven't changed your cliches. It's the, not a cliche. The government, the government it's an are easy holding. Job. The government are holding. They the haven't got any ransom. money. Well, the government have not they've got, got, they've any got money. plenty of money for wars. They've got plenty of money to give Ukraine. They've got plenty of money to give Israel. They could sell an arms to Israel. Are you completely stupid, Steve? Are you co well, completely I nuts? Well, I mean, you I come in here probably... dressed in a in a scarf with a. Well, it's a Palestinian support. Yeah. Scarf. Do you actually it's a Palestinian really scarf. support yeah. the Palestinians? Absolutely. You I think defend that's a really I defend what about I Hamas? Defend, what about I def Hamas? I defend the Palestinians' right to defend themselves. Yeah. Do you say Hamas it was a resistance? Sorry, I, I believe the Israeli government are a fascist government. I believe the Israeli government are a terrorist government. It's a democratic government. Hang on, hang on. Oh, so that's the case. No, no, I'm not. This. He's democratic, is hey, he? this is this is not on. Well, you want to talk on. rubbish? Go and talk to the BBC or some other. Well, what do you think about the Hamas? I don't what, want about, you... what about free speech? Was James? Hamas a, a legitimate, you got free a legitimate speech. action? Well, you're well, saying it, but I don't what, need what, to what, listen what to What I'm your saying to you is that I condemn terrorism, whether it comes from Hamas or from the Israeli so you, government. You agree right, so it has come from Hamas, but not from government. Israel. That's of course, a war, it, isn't it? of course it has. Well, not us defending well, themselves. Well, no, isn't it? because it's, it's an occupied people. Well, it is now. It wasn't in 2005. It can't be self-defence. They're not occupied. It wasn't in 2005. Yeah, they occupied they, since 1947 when they drove the Palestinians off You need to want to look at your history books. 2005, no. they all left. 1947 is when the Nakba happened. I've never met okay, such an important people in my now, life. Quiet. I don't want you in here anymore, Steve, because you are supporting right, the enemies of this country. so you're throwing me out, James, because you, because you the defender you, of free speech, are throwing me out. You've had free speech, but I you, don't have to allow you to carry on. You, the defender of free speech, are throwing me out. I am defending I'm not, the freedom I'm not, I'm of this country. Oh, there we go. I don't really? need... Okay. If okay. we're at war, as we are soon are who, going to be, who, who you won't be able with to... The Palestinian children who you're murdering in their Do thousands. you support the 7-7 bombers, then? Because they did that for the Palestinians. Well, why not? They did that for the Palestinians. Do you support the Borough Market stabbings? Do you support... You support 30,000 dead could people, you, civilians. You well, yeah, it's, do, it's do collateral support, damage. It's a legal war. Do you support war. killing women and children? It's the lowest amount of collateral genocide damage ever. Genocide in Gaza. Ever. Genocide it's not in genocide, Gaza. It's genocide, is it? Well, 25,000 people out of 2 million is not genocide. Just hang on a moment. Hold on. It's genocide. It's deliberately harming in you know, part or in full. Ash is Jewish. And what you're saying to him is not genocide. It's not genocide, is it? It's Jewish. But it's not genocide. It's irrelevant anyway. But it's not genocide. It's not about being Jewish. It's about being a Zionist. What is a Zionist? A Zionist should the Jews not have a homeland? No, it's ridiculous. Well, why did, why didn't they have should the Jews Barveria? not have a homeland? Why didn't they have one in Barbaria? It was the Germans so that had the Holocaust, a... not, the, not the Palestinians. So, so, so what was Israel happen? never the homeland? Not, of the not, Jews? not, not, not occupied Palestine. Not no, it was. Anymore. I don't want him on three, the show. That's anymore. why they, they find old Jewish texts from 3,000 years ago. They occupied Palestine. I don't want that either. 
They occupy they Palestine. Arab, most of them come from Arab, the Arab countries. They, they, they built people, they ransomed ever since. Most of them were expelled from the Arab countries, most of Israel. No, that's not true. The Arab countries. Can you be quiet? Seriously, can you be quiet? The Arab countries actually. Uh, gave that, the Jews refuge when the Holocaust was yeah. happening. Why yeah. about that? They you were on the Nazi side. Yes. You don't know your history. You don't know your history. I don't know yes. what he says. I'm executive producer. Are you, are are you arguing that the Nakba took place? Will the United Nations recognised that the Nakba took place. You're talking rubbish. You know rubbish. The United Nations recognised that the Nakba took place. I'm trying to kick him out. What do you want me to do? Israel is the UN. Is this the UN that we're on the Hamas attack? Is this the UN that are totally bent and corrupt organisation? Do you mean that UN? To investigate genocide. Yeah. Are this you young lady is showing are you, you out. Of that? This young lady is showing you out. The Israeli this government are now being brought before yeah. the world this because everyone rubbish. has recognised that there was a genocide rubbish, though, going yeah. on. This is what we're not talking rubbish. rubbish. You are, you say. The Palestinian genocide, people, people are genocide. an occupied people and they've got a they right were. to defend themselves. They are themselves. now. No, no. They weren't in 2005. They were totally free in 2005. Hamas didn't exist when 1947 when you started occupying their land. Hamas didn't exist. I mean, yeah, that we are who's making the so same statements about Hamas that he did about and the PLO. So they're very similar. Wrong. Very, very he did similar. About the PLO. Same thing. Wrong. Terrorists. Oh, really? Same thing. Yeah, yeah. So your state is a terrorist state, isn't it, Ash? That's what? the reality. No. Britain's a terrorist state. No. America's oh, well, a terrorist that, state. Then? And Israel is a terrorist so you do state. Think that. This is the reality of it. Yes, yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. Yes, they are. Well, what, you know, it's not a terrorist state, is it? It's These a terrorist state. Right, oh, James, you're trying Alice, to assault me, James. You're I'm trying to assault me, James. I'm an old man don't. with cancer. You well, can James, don't, don't please. Well, do what don't I please. ask. Don't don't go. Go. I'm not going to go. And you won't be able to remove me, James. So please don't. Why? You, what are you going to do? I'm well, I'm making a statement. I'm making a statement here for Palestine. A statement of rubbish. choking rubbish. Take this book. And go out and support Palestine. I know you want to hit me. I'm not going to hit you, no, James. No, you're not. You're not, absolutely not at all. right. Not at you're all. not. Not no, you're quite Hamas with Israel. You're a silly you little man. Thing. Well, you're a silly little man. As much as a genocide like. enabler. A genocide enabler, James. Yeah, you talk crap. Gen you're that's a all genocide you can enabler. All you can spout is that crap, isn't it? Genocide well, enabler. Like, from the river to the sea. Genocide enabler. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you'd trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday night. Uh, we slick it, cool and timorous beastie. Open a panic in thy beastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so many politicians now who just said my dad was a boss. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win, he obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that stuff is actually making him more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, that's the way it goes. 
I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. Hey, that is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place uh, where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Uh, right, welcome back. Uh, James Well Unleashed and uh, Ready to Go, a programme uh, live on TV, not for the faint-hearted, please. He tore my uh, jacket. Uh, th we're not talking about oh, it. Right. Um, we're moving on, OK? Uh, if you would like to uh, join us, 03444991000. Kevin is in uh, Basing Stoke, is it? Stoke. Yeah. That's the only Basing. Basing thing. Stoke. Kevin, you're on the air. What can we do for you? Hello, James. Uh, there is... There is two acid attacks every day in the UK. Is Why it? do you think the recent um, tragic story is getting so much coverage? Well, A it, wasn't a, 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 it wasn't an acid attack, and B, is because this scumbag himself, who needs to be kicked out of this country as soon as they get him, in my view, because there's no doubt of the, uh, of, of, of the guilt, it's all been filmed, oh, uh, took young, two young children out of a car as well, threw one three-year-old on the ground, and uh, that is why the public are thinking about it. If there are other acid attacks in Two this country... Two a day sounds horrendous. Yeah, this, I mean, this wasn't an acid attack, remember. This was well, even the same worse. sort of thing. Yeah, I know, but, you know, you don't repeat everything, but this just made the news. I'm well, sorry, Kevin, was, if you've got a problem it, with that, it, I can't... No, 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 no. What, what, it wasn't an, what was it, then, if it wasn't an acid attack? It was an attack. alkaline. It's and just it's the alkaline. same sort of burns you. Same, it's but a but pH more. 1 and yeah. pH 14. Yeah. You should have learnt that at school. All right. Not all as educated as you. It's very basic oh, right. chemistry. So, but what's the point so, you're trying to make, Kevin? Well, I think it's being used for political gain because, like I said, there's two attacks every day and that doesn't get any coverage. No, but it's, it, the reason it's being blown up, it's a ridiculous expression, but the reason for that is that it was filmed and they could use the film in the media and that is the reason that it has been blown up. And, the, and he's sorry. escaped, he's on the run as yeah, well. And, and, he, makes a big and he needs to be caught. It was the vilest thing I've seen for ages. Nothing to do with the fact that he's an asylum seeker. No, nothing. Well, at if there's two a day, there's probably lots of asylum seekers yeah. doing it, so it's yeah. nothing to do with that. So no, it? Kevin, I think you know. And even if it was to do with that, would it be a bad thing? Wouldn't would it's, it? It's a news story. It's a yeah. very big. It's, it's a horrendous a big news, news story. story. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Nav in Leicester. Nav. Hello, I want to speak to Ash. No, speak, you don't. Speaking. It's my show. You speak to me first of all. What do you want to talk about? Oh, sorry, James. Yeah, I want to speak about the two-state solution. What about it? Which will never work. But what do you suggest? It might the in a hundred years, but not don't. now. It won't, won't it? What do you suggest? We just wait until uh, Hamas and the Palestinians give up, or a constant state. Or they put, give, their, they put their weaponry if, down. If you give the Palestinians a state mm. and an airport, yeah. right? What do you think they'll do? They'll have Hezbollah, the Houthis, Iran. So you can't wipe out a nation. They that won't allow them a military or an I airport. wouldn't want to see that. I don't want to see innocent people being killed. Unfortunately, no. it's a state of war. It's no. amazing we don't talk about this with uh, Russia and um, Ukraine because there have been so many more innocent people who have lost their oh, yeah. lives. Um, war, that is unfortunately what happens in a war. And I, I, I don't understand people not understanding it. But we've got to do something to save the Palestinian people because they have been mistreated by people on both they sides. Don't deserve, they don't deserve independence. Thank you, state. Nav. Bye-bye. John is in Clacton-on-Sea. John. Good evening. How are we, James? John, we're good. What can I do for you? Well, first of all, I'd like to say, what you just under that gaze out was a legendary. I'd have thrown him out. John. Two times, I'm, yeah? I'm, I'm, man. I'm, I'm not really fit enough to start. So you'd have thrown him out and let him come back in and thrown him out again. Well, I wanted to grab through the picture on my television and throw him out myself, son. So don't worry about that. Well, John, next but, time I need your uh, help, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad. But, yeah, now what we need to do, uh, Joe, at the end of the day, listen, it, the Palestinian people, I no disrespect, they voted for Hamas, didn't they? Yeah. They did. Yeah? Right. So... You know, they know where the money was going. They knew this, that, and the other. 
And it, you know what makes me laugh is is that the Jewish people always get attacked, uh, and and you know it, 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 it's, it's laughable. We, we've got to be politically correct in this country, James. What we've got to say? It's about... changing. It's changing, and if what looks like is going to happen, John, there is a third world war because. Um, America, in my view, quite rightly, has, uh, because, you know, the, the, the um, Houthis, isn't it, who are bombing yeah. the boats, yeah. carry on the way they are. And then... people here encouraging it, saying, yeah. carry on. This yeah. is, uh, traitors, this is what, what are called traitors in the old See, days. See, people like that and people who are on that march today are traitors to this nation in many ways. And do you know, John, I'll tell you the thing that worries me most, and I'm not mentioning any name, names, but people know the extreme right and when some of those people. If it carries on like that, then more and more people are going to start supporting happens. these appalling yeah. extreme right organisations. Yeah. And I don't want that. And that is worrying me. But they greatly. use that as a blame when Suella Brahman came out. They yeah. said, oh, she support as if she would support the far right. You know, it's just ridiculous. But this is what is going to happen. It's happened in Germany. It's happened terribly in Sweden. Yeah. Well, they've got 25%. People. They've got gun crime through the roof because of gangs yeah. of, of different foreign groups if fighting each other. If people don't like this country... And this is the best country to live in, trust me. I, I, I have been around a little bit at my age. If you don't like this country, then why not go to the country you think is best? Well, if you're the enemy, you should be removed anyway, yeah, somewhere or imprisoned. Right, we're going to switch the subject. We'll come back to that during the programme all the time. But we're going to talk about you, Les. And we have somebody coming in. Me, Les? You, Les. Oh, thank not, you. Not, not call me, Ash. Les. You, Les. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll talk about it. You'll see what's going to happen. But be warned, you might be upset after this. Mm. Watch and learn. Marky, if you don't wake this up... This guy was absolutely gonna... losing the plot. You came in with my artwork, which I found most offensive, and you're sticking it up in front of the screen, the door, making a mockery, it. damn straight. And he was getting hotter and hotter under the collar. But you just told That's me that. That's my art. That's my art. Goodbye. That's, you said that was your proof. Good riddance. He just made it so much more worse for himself than it needed to be. You had the chance. You wanted it shown. Then go. Be very disappointed and go. No. Yeah. You've, how many more times? Oh, my word. What a car crash. It doesn't really go to plan, does it? I'll leave it with you. Good. You carry on. Nice to meet you, man. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Honestly. His whole world is unravelling. Things haven't gone the way expected. When we've had a, a couple of arguments and you get Getting into the same thing again. That's the time to say, could we have security in here, please, and remove this guest? Tony went on the show to promote his book, hoping his close encounters with extraterrestrials would make a big impression, but sadly ended up hitting the headlines for all the wrong reasons. We asked him to take part in our program, but instead he sent us this. A masterclass from Whale on how not to interview people who have met aliens. <laughs> I what? And what really gets me angry is I spent fifty pounds on a new blazer. <laughs> when the person clashes with you, in my view, not in everybody's, but in my view, brilliant, because you can use that to your own advantage. No. Uh, right. Welcome. All right. Just talk to can Godzilla. You stop just talking. Just... Right. Welcome back to the program. Uh, gosh, yeah, I, I've upset so many people in my life, it's terrible. Um, now, London ULEZ zone is estimated to uh, make TfL over £300 million this year. And quite frankly, I think Sadiq Khan is an embarrassment. I think I've invited him on the show many times, he just doesn't reply. Um, now, I'm joined by a gentleman who may look a bit strange. I think he has an easing, some sort of well, easing. It's not a gentleman, it's a dinosaur. Yeah. Um, do we mention his name or not? Godzilla. We can mention your name? Yeah, OK. Yeah. Uh, this is Paul Sullivan, believe it or not. You can see that. That's his well, gas you can, can you hear. Can you turn that your fan off? No, which that's is his gas, that's his air, that's his Oh, air. that's your yeah, fan, yeah, isn't it? It keeps it... Um, you know, erect. This is not going to be a long interview, <laughs> I can tell you. Uh, ULEZ activists call themselves the uh, Blade Runners, slashing their tyres, spray painting cameras, and smashing windows. Whose tyres are you actually. Uh... That's nothing to do with me. They're not, he's not violent. He doesn't keep any can criminal I, uh, damage. Hang on. He's Again, legal. who is the silly pillock who put on this. They don't slash tyres. You're libeling Godzilla. The group does, yeah. He's the not group, part of the group. The group do, but who's the, no, those are the people who don't want... Well, he's Godzilla. an idiot. Um, they're illegal. So, he does yeah. it legally. He does it all legally. Right, I know. But it says here they slash tyres. 
and that's not on that's the others. or they'll be going um right paul you don't do that sort of thing just tell us what you've decided to become and that i'm afraid that fan is him because he's beginning to uh, pass out in the uh, in the costume yeah no i mean um it, it started for me as a spare of the moment thing mm. uh, and i blocked a van um a, a mobile camera van with a tipper truck yeah um and, and after sort of blocking it with a Mm. I noticed that the camera was about eight feet off the ground. Yeah. I saw a video on TikTok of dinosaur suits like this. I thought, that's brilliant. It's a perfect height. Anyway, next day, yeah. got one. Van pulled up locally again. Got out in front of it with the dinosaur and it was blocked. You could have just got a placard. Were you, hang what, on, were what, you what? driving a van dressed in that? No, no, no. It would no, have no. to be a convertible, wouldn't it, if you wore so, uh, We haven't well, done that yet. Have, yeah. you, have you been accused of vandalism? I mean, are you breaking these cameras, smashing them? No, or? not me personally, no, no. I mean, no. There, there are um, a group, of. But you're not, you're not part of that group? I'm not part right. of that, no, okay, no. Everything I've so done all you do legal. is you stand in front of them yep. and uh, block the camera and, uh, and then people get past without having to pay it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And what do they do? Do they move on then, or do they get annoyed, or do they laugh? What, do um, they send the police? Yeah, so there's been lots of, obviously, he's had um, masked, um, a lot of the security yeah. have been masked, and a lot of them have been genuinely nice guys. Yeah. Some of them have been really violent thugs, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The majority yeah. have been like that. There's been a lot of altercations. There's been some violent And outbreaks. they try and make up laws, don't they? Oh, you're not allowed yeah. to do this. Yeah, they, the they seem yeah. to be a law to themselves. I mean... Yeah. Are these are these the security for who? For, for the ULES van people. Yeah, they're the basically... Yeah. They're, they're contracted. Yeah. Um, to do what? To go out and park their van? Protect there the asset. Their... So yeah. basically just to protect the camera. But a car follows them with security often, doesn't That's it? Correct. So there's a second car. Yeah. It's very sinister. A lot of these security right. organisations need looking at and regulating. Let's just have a little look at you in action. I feel like my free time is best spent blocking that camera so that a low-income family or somebody with a disability or an elderly person in family they need to get to to help if I can save them £12.50 a day, then I can go to sleep happy. Yeah, and I won't stop until this scheme is scrapped. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Um, yeah, so, you, you know, you're doing a, a, a brilliant job to help Public save service. money. Public uh, service. What you're doing is drawing attention to something uh, people really feel that they have been... Of course, they'll, they'll be able to, at the next uh, elections, be able to vote on it. But in the yeah. meantime, you're drawing attention to it. Absolutely. You're not committing any vandalism. No, acts. initially, I thought, you know, you could get a bunch of people um, standing over placards. You're never going to remember that. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I saw, I saw, well, I thought, as soon as he said we got him on, I'd already seen you, so you yeah. remember yeah. it. Yeah. So the thing is, as soon as people feel they're not getting listened to, uh, then they do extreme things, and then sometimes they get listened to. And I'm glad that yours is a peaceful, you extreme a fun thing. spin on something. Satire that, is a good way yeah, of making them look stupid. Absolutely, isn't it? yeah. yeah. But it's a tax on the poor, isn't it? Because this is a Labour mayor who's taxing poor people who can't afford new cars, basically. Yeah. Well, with the cost of living crisis still, yeah. um, and you've got households that are low income, they've got um, yeah. whatever reasons. Um, and, you know, I, I'm from Bexley, which is south of the river. I know it well. Our public service transports and stuff out there, it's not as great as it is. You might have a cancer appointment, there's grand grandparents who go see the kid every so, day, they can't go because yeah. it's £12. Mm. Are you a hero in your area now? Because of A lot of people, um, I've got a lot of people around me. I mean, I don't really consider myself to be a hero of sorts. I, because morally, what I'm doing, is wrong. Yeah. He's right. Well, what, what right, I'm doing is right. What he's doing yeah. is yeah. wrong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, you're, yeah. If, if your car is passes an MOT, your emissions legally satisfy. Driving to London, oh, let's tax you on NOx tax. Air yeah. in London has been as clean as it has ever been since yeah. the seventies. Apart from when you're on the tube, when well, it's highly hazardous, and he doesn't 100%, mention that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But, well, I, listen, I'm not sure whether we can congratulate you. That might be going over some well, no, rules. No, it's a non-violent are... process. No, no, but I, agree. I, I support I agree. you. But I think, uh, I think that it is time for those cameras to be voted upon, and they will in the next mayoral election. Uh, and all, it's not just in London. It's all over the country. It's coming. It's already in Birmingham and Glasgow. 100%. Yeah. yeah and, I mean, and what you're doing is putting working people off going to work because a lot of people cannot get a train yeah. They're on bloody strike the whole time. Uh, and there's no other way to get in. Now, I couldn't get anywhere without a taxi or yeah. without a... Because a yeah. I'm not allowed to drive. And uh, yeah. I don't walk terribly well anymore. Uh, except when somebody annoys me, I have to go around the desk. Yeah, yeah. But I, I actually think 
the public need to be listened to. And politicians who all, of like all that. parties seem to be a bit thick and stupid. They and just the ignore us, is, don't they, and they get away yeah, with it. It's not the politicians I have now learned about it, civil that most of the civil servants take the decisions. And I want but the, the politicians civil servants... have let them get away with yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. It's the politicians' fault as well. Civil servants who are working for well-known politicians should be publicly known. They're not. They Pretty hide Patel away. tried, and look what happened to her. They, they, grabbed, they didn't yeah. back her up, the politicians. They yeah. hid away. Civil servants are a nuisance because they are not accountable. They're not working as well. And they right. have to be in the future. A lot, yeah. a lot of them don't yeah. understand what it's like to live as a, and work as a working-class person. Mm. You know, if you said to them... Go and live in a London borough and earn 30 grand a year, yeah. they'd have a different outlook on life. Yeah, it's all group think. They all have to think the same or they're out, basically. Yeah, well, I mean, back to this, I mean, we've got to get Khan out. Mm. He's got to go. Well, that's for people to decide Absolutely, themselves, not yeah. for us to say. That's for people Just to decide. Just look at the facts and, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, listen, thank you for what you're doing. Do you know, I think it's not actually, in. there's a man in there. It's not a real dinosaur. I can see a Did man. Did you not know that? Did oh, you no, not it know is that? a real dinosaur. Oh, yeah, yeah you, didn't, growled. you didn't realise that. It is. Um, but uh, thank you very much indeed for coming in, uh, Paul, and uh, we, we, we wish you that you don't get locked up for doing this. Mm. Uh, but if anything happens, get in touch with our producers, let us know, yeah, and yeah. we can uh, we come and do an interview with you in prison or whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, we're going we're gonna to get our technical operator who uh, is being yeah. incredibly annoying. Oh, no, that's uh, the other Mark, is it? Yeah, we've got two oh, Marks. Come in, marks. Mark, he's going to help you out whilst we mm. go to Wayne on the call so we can look at something else whilst uh, Mark comes in front of that camera. We'll stay there, shall we? Come, come. Careful of the cameras, so though. Bye. And Mark. No. Oh, OK. OK. Oh, dear, that was worrying. I think we can cut back. And um, let us go to Wayne. Good evening, Wayne. What can we do Good for you? Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Hi. Well, I'd like you to wish me happy birthday, James. Why, is it your birthday? It is today, Ash. That's a coincidence. Happy birthday, Wayne. Thank you very much indeed. Um, can I just say, uh, I uh, think you... How old are you? Rather well. How old are you? Well, thank, I'm trying to ignore that. I don't know, how can I be a Zionist, by the way? Am I a Zionist? Yeah, yeah. I'm You're not. A, what are you talking about? I don't even know what it is. Well, you... It, it, you Jews should have a home. A home. I've got a home, haven't you? And Does you that make you a Zionist? A if you so uh, you're a Zionist. You can't listen. It might have been done badly in 1949, but 48. It, 48. Um, but it has been done, yeah. and it has been. Had to have a bit of that. You know, you know, uh, yeah, yeah and, and they the got same, all the rest of it, and the same Arabia. for the Palestinians. They have to be given some as well. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, they had some. please, all Jordan. of you, please, all of you, just decide to go back peacefully and not have people like that one in before ranting and raving like that. Uh, Wayne, thank you for that. Happy birthday, mate. Sylvia is in uh, Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Sylvia. Gloucestershire. Yeah. Sylvia, what can we do for you? I'd like to talk to James about that man and the state of this country because I did live in London. In Sylvia, the stop. You're talking to me, OK? I, I'm surprised you don't know you're talking to me. I'm really quite upset about that, but still. Oh, you sorry, are, James. You, yeah, no, nah, Sylvia, don't apologise. I'm me. really having a go at the people who put you through. because They should have told you it was James. Very good job. Um, well, so James, you, you I'm want to talk about you. you want to, what is it I'm you want to say? I'm in my 80s. Well, I'm in my 70s. I would have shut that birthday. man out. Well, you're not allowed to do that. We could have done I just, with you in here, actually. I, I, I got a little um, bit cross because he, he wouldn't stop and he wouldn't leave. I, if I asked somebody to leave... Now. Are you good go. with your fists, Sylvia? Now, thank you, Sylvia. Don't reply to that. Thank you very um, much no. indeed, yeah. Sylvia. She is. Yeah, No, Sylvia, you don't, you don't do that. No, not at our age, Sylvia. We can't start getting aggressive. She's a hard woman. Uh, Tony in Lancashire. Tony, hi. We're going to crash good into evening, these. Don't make yeah, them like yeah, that anymore. Brilliant. Tony. Really program this. Yes, Tony. Really what what can we do for you? Good. Right. Top hand lane. Um, I, say, I just want to say, like, you know how you clean your back garden? You, you clean all the crap up and yeah. stuff. Can we not do the same thing with this country? Good idea. Well, we are trying, uh, but until the politicians actually realise what they have to do and start being tough. I've never seen... You know, do they think the majority of people actually agree with the demonstrators? Well, are they... Are they the just ignore are, democracy. Yeah. Like, we don't want any of this, and they know the people don't want it, and they just ignore us and carry on. Like Brexit, like everything, which is why we're all disenfranchised, but no-one wants to, you know, do anything about it. So yeah. So we're stuck. So, uh, limbo. But there's an election. There are mayoral elections across the country. There are... National elections coming up. The problem is I don't see any difference no, between any of them. That's the problem. Even. 
Mm. Um, it might get worse, you're right. Yeah, uh, but probably what we will. need to do is make those people who go into politics... We've even got a couple of politicians doing shows on here. Well, yeah. maybe better going out and doing their job and They're getting actually better it at shows out. than being politicians. Well, that's maybe the that's a, oh, They're but, showmen. Yeah, maybe they shouldn't be politicians. I don't know, but yeah. the problem is that the politicians in Parliament at the moment, are, um, there are yeah. some good ones. I can think of some I know quite well not very, not who many. are nice, but they don't get to make any decisions. Well, they never had to for years because of the EU, and now they're <laughs> useless politicians. Yeah, and we don't ever want to go back to that politicians. road either. Uh, okay, thank you very much indeed for that. Let's talk to Anne in uh, Hertfordshire. Anne, hello. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, hi, good evening. Yes, Anne. Yeah, I want to talk about the ULIS thing. Go I on. think it's absolutely outrageous that they've made £300 million. Mm. And could they please tell us what they're using it for? They're also, projected to make that much this year as well. You know, people can't afford to drive their cars because of all these stupid yeah. things going on around the country. And he doesn't yeah. care. They don't care, man. They don't. Well, it seems to me they are just a little bit stupid. The politicians at the moment are a lot stupid. Yeah. Because it, 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 they don't understand that they are there to look after the people oh. of this country. And some people might agree with it. You know, we've got the green lobby who go on about wanting us to go back to the Stone Age, but. And I'm not yeah. a climate change denier. The climate no. is always changing. It changes yeah. the it's whole time. It was hot in the summer, wasn't it? And, and now it it's might, cold. It does, it does alter the speed that it changes too. Yeah. I think when the last yeah. ice age came, it just... Or ice skating on the Thames a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. Something else I'd like to say is my husband worked out last night how much it would cost us because we're going to Devon in the summer. How much is it going to cost you to go to Devon then? My father-in-law, yeah. who died before Christmas, yeah. we're going to scatter his, him and his wife's ashes, yeah. ashes yeah. and it's going to cost us, in six different cars, yeah. nearly £300 each. Get a minibus. Yeah. Can I just Let's give you... the mileage. Before, yeah. listen, before we, uh, before we leave, can I just... Uh, it's very sad to hear, and, and in an emotional time, can I give you a, a little bit of advice? You, you you sound worried about what advice I'm going to give you. she's worried about the advice. No, no, I'm listening. Oh, oh OK. Um, I've, I've scattered my mum's ashes and, and other, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're doing it in Cornwall. Do it oh, no, I do. Do it upwind. Uh, yeah. I, can you not do it with the wind blowing towards you? Because when I scattered my mum's ashes into the sea in South Wales... I did actually swallow quite a lot of it. But you liked that because you thought it was like the circle mm. of life. I did, I thought at the time. You thought it was it, quite it, nice to have a bit of It does blow in the wind. So I at Villa Park, I was in the whole end and it was like snowing of ashes. Someone yeah. was releasing the ashes over the whole You've end. You've got to be careful, mm. all right? So j just remember that, Anne. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions, Anne? Any other points about costs of travelling? No, I just thought, I just think it's yeah. ridiculous. Um, the thanks, yeah. Anne. I, what did you do? Well, we're finished, aren't we? Joanne in Derbyshire. You can't do Joanne. that. Well, we're finished, aren't we? We've got I mean, a, honestly. snappy to show, snappy. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, Anne. Thank you very sorry, much Anne. for your yeah. call, Anne. I, I'm the one who does that, not you. Sorry, man. I'll bring me up. I've only discovered you this evening. Have you, Joanne? Well, how did you do that? Like were you Peter bored Fleming with everything else? With penicillin. No, it's trying to find a news programme which is actually interesting and not one-sided. Well, thank you very much indeed. What, did you accidentally press the wrong button and we ended oh, up on telly? It. And no. ignore him. Um, no. I've only got a couple of minutes left before we go to the news, so uh, what can we do for you? It's Joanne. Uh, Joanne, I'd be good. I came to England in the 1970s. My dad's British. Mm. So I had to apply for British citizenship. Where are you from? You sound British totally. Australia. Yeah, you've got rid of that accent. And I had to pay £150 yep. to carry on living here, which I think is bonkers. That's good value. That's... But they never mention that lots of people are in that same situation and some end up paying more. To do what? To move here, you mean? To be able to carry on living here. I came in, I was accepted on my dad's passport. Yeah. They changed the law. And because the law had changed, I had to then get a visa. Yeah, now it costs thousands to get someone in legally, but if you come in a boat, you get everything yeah. for free. Yeah. That, it's, can we, it's, it's can, wrong. Can we, it totally wrong. In fact, I think it's criminal. Absolutely criminal. That it's you, you know, of these their... people break into the country. If they had weapons, I'm sure we'd be treating them in a well, different way. Some of way. them do get weapons, and some of them. We don't seen... know what they do, but they are criminals. 
And don't you want to ring me and tell me I've got no feelings? I'm a horrible. They person don't care about this country. I'll as well. explain it to you so you understand. These people pay large wads of money, and if they can't afford it, then they get taken in to modern slavery. They come over to this country because they think they'll get everything they and want. And they do. And they do. Much. And you and me and everybody else that, that pays we, tax we pay for it, are yeah. paying for it. Yeah. It's wrong. And we get told you're racist if you say anything about it. Well, they can call you anything you want. But, uh, exactly. and if you, you know, it, it is wrong. Well, it's lost the meaning of the word by them shouting racist. It's yeah. actually the real racists get away with it now. Yeah. Because I like living here and it's important. And we, we like, like having you here. As long as you keep the 150 quid coming, you can stay, Joanne. Listen, we've got to go. Joanne, I hope you watch next week and for the rest of the show, we'll talk to you very soon. Thank you very much. Now, uh, end of the first hour. That went quickly, didn't it? I hope. Uh, took about think, an hour. Do you think the hour? Uh, yeah, it took about an hour. Do you think the next hour will be a little less sort of? No, it's going to be even. Uh, bigger oh God, I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a violent I'm, hour that one. I need to lie. I need to lie down and uh, and recover. To be quite honest with well, you, got three or four minutes, three minutes, yeah, something I mean. like that. Okay, the news is coming next. We'll see you with Lizzie Cundy right afterwards. So don't go anywhere. Talk TV and radio at your service. For the news that matters, for the opinions that matter, for the stories that matter, find me, Vanessa Feltz, every weekday at 4pm, only on talk, on TV, on radio, online and on your smart speaker. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> All this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. This is Talk TV. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you'd trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy birds um, night. Uh, we slick it, cool and timorous beastie. Open a panic in thy breastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so many politicians now who just said my dad was a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win, he obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that stuff is actually making him more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, that's the way it comes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. 
Talk TV. It's the only place uh, where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. This is Talk TV. the fireworks with Sadiq Khan, you'll absolutely hate. That was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night with Lois Perry, James Benbridge, Pete Barnes, and of course the lovely Howard Cox. I hate you, you <laughs> woke little dick. I hate you. Uh, yes, here, oh, sorry, I was just eating something. Um, here we are together, three hours live on TV and radio together, talk radio. Uh, highest ratings for ages are really good. Uh, thank you for that, nice for everybody. Ever, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and uh, watching on Talk TV, thank you for that as well. Uh, if you would like to join us, then the number is on the screen at some point. Don't uh, leave me hanging. Uh, yep. Uh, 0344 499 1000 for our friends on radio. It's not there. And on the screen, um, it will be, but it comes up there. She's it? gone to um, do the. She's gone what? The woman who puts the thing on is gone. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Chuck's had to do it. Oh, right. Okay. Do we also get is. some... Give us a ring on yeah. that number. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Anyway, I've got... I've had the whip out. I've got them all in the control oh, room. Got it working, all out. Got it working all out, well. Man. If you're easily offended or triggered, this is not the programme for you. Uh, we do get sort of fairly feisty on this show. Not all the time. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but if you're easily offended, then... Away. Uh, so, uh, thank you for the texts, uh, the uh, X's as well, and we'll try and get some of those. Um, yeah, Twitter X's. Yeah. Here's, um, Twitter. here's social commentator and social media extraordinaire. Meghan Markle correspondent. Uh, who you will see everywhere. Lizzie, <laughs> Lizzie <laughs> Cundy. Hello, here. good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. How are you? I was uh, listening on the way in. It's not the Steve Wright show. No, but I mean, what? No, they were uh, clapping. They were doing oh, the clapping. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a bit feisty, wasn't it? It was. It was fine. Fun. It was fine. Good. Um, and uh, it was fine. So anyway, <laughs> I, I probably overreacted. You know. A bit. No, no I, I think, think you it, underreacted. I think, I think it could have been a lot. Yeah. Okay, let's not. Let's crack on. Well, first, um, can I just say for those that aren't on the TV, can see what you're wearing. What an amazing. Uh, Time. It's like Rupert Bear, isn't can, it? Can, back I, to life. can I be absolutely honest with you and yeah. tell you? I have, and in my condition, when you have cancer, Thank you should have bottom yeah. weight. But I've been eating an enormous yeah. amount lately. And the talk sports. And I man. couldn't get my waistcoat. Oh. Which I'm, but it doesn't matter. No, you look, you look mighty fine. Too yeah. many magnums. I don't yeah. know why I should put on weight. I really yeah. have yeah. no yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eating a naughty. Oh, yeah. Certain mm. chocolate bar, which we won't mention. Right, uh, tell us yeah. about the BBC scandal. This is a great story. Well, it and is. I'm trying to stay out of the way of getting upsetting. But go on. Yes, well, the BBC, another. I'll finish an my chocolate. <laughs> uh, one of the BBC employees calls out Jewish people as Nazi parasites. Oh, that's nice. Now, um, this is, a, this is a, a senior BBC employee, by the way, um, a programme scheduler. For BBC Three. Dawn and, Quaver. Yes, indeed. Is she quavering now? She's quavering. But um, she's also referred to the Holocaust as a holy hoax mm. and claimed Sorry, Britain... Sorry, me... She said the Holocaust is a hoax. A hoax. A holy she said the Rothschilds were behind it. Has she been sacked? And as far as I know... Well, hang on, let me stop this. Can we, can we ring the BBC News Department? She's still employed. See, I'm, I'm serious. And can we ask for a, a, a statement as to why this, um, what's the name, quivering, has not been sacked? Well, she's probably going to get promoted. She'll probably get promoted at the BBC. She does They don't this. need to investigate it. She put it out and apparently it's not been taken Well, down. I mean, and yeah. also she's referred not just Jewish people as Nazi parasites and white people as mutant invader species. What? A virus, yeah. So yeah. Racist. Uh, she should be arrested. So Never mind sacked. Spots. She should be arrested. Look, if I said that about a black person, well, it's raci it's racism. I would not be here. That is a hate crime, isn't it? There would be yeah. a right. If you said that... Well, if it, the, have the, the police involved? 
Uh, look, as far as I'm aware, and, and if someone here can tell me different, she's still employed. This is Never outrageous. mind the employed. It's a criminal well, offence. You the, should be arrested. The, the, the BBC have them. just told us they are investigating her. She hasn't deleted the post. Or are the police doing anything? But she needs to not only delete the post, she cool. needs to step down from her job. Or no, she, no, BBC darling, no. no. Sorry, I didn't get... mean to call you darling. Uh, sorry, Lizzie. <laughs> she, she needs to be sacked. Yes. Not to step down from And then arrested. Post. But the BBC need to take action. And the fact is that They're the useless. BBC are supposed to be impartial. And they yet again, they support those sort of I'll thing, call him mouth of the day. Gary Lineker yeah. has even liked a, a tweet yeah. that was very anti-Semitic. Well, Hamas I just said, think, thanks, Gary, and then he deleted his tweet, didn't he? Yeah, but the he fact is, one, yeah. he's supposed to be impartial. He's well, one of, of the biggest is. earners on... The BBC. And the reason I said he, he doesn't have to be is because he's not in news. But actually, it was a, a comment about sport, and he is. When it comes to sport, he is a journalist, and that is a political opinion, well, and his his views are held in. You know. Yeah, but they've all, the BBC have all already changed the guidelines for Gary Lineker. I know and that's again, what I'm saying. He's going against them. But so he says Israel should be banned. He, he liked it, but he doesn't say anything about Russia or anything, does he? No, he, he doesn't say a word. And the fact is, <coughs> they've already changed the guidelines for Gary Lineker. Yet yeah, again, he's yeah. going against Made them. Made no he's mention not, on October the 7th he's either. He's making a, a mockery of the BBC and he's I think absolutely yeah, he's taking the need, mickey out of us, who are the taxpayers. I think we need to have somebody from the uh, news department or somebody from their press department on the programme because they they have to say yes, as far as I understand it, uh, to any other media because they're Did paid they? for by all of us. But Gary Lynn, the last thing he did, and he liked it, the BBC didn't even say anything about it now. Yes. They'd actually just not... Not, not but it, the, the, the fact is, he, he's actually making a mockery of the BBC yeah. Yeah. and everything it well, stands for. Well, they're doing that for. themselves. And people I know aren't wanting to pay for the licence anymore. They're, they're really... Well, why would you? So, I mean, he, you know, he took to money from team. Qatar, didn't he? And that was all BBC you money. Know, and the BBC couldn't call Hamas for what they were, terrorists, yeah. called them freedom fighters. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, this woke nonsense is continuing. Well, they're anti israel They didn't call them freedom... Stop. Well, they have they, called they them freedom had, fighters, they, yeah. They called them freedom But they now call them uh, that are... Uh, well, it took them a yeah. while. And when Jeremy Bowen got that wrong about the hospital, he, he said he's still not apologising. Ridiculous But something's coward. got to be done about well, this. Yeah. You know, she is an employer by the BBC. I want to see action taken. And, um, and police action. It's racist. It's a hate crime. They, these need to be taken down her, mm. her, her, her from her social media, and she needs to Which be is given a different... She gave a different name. With a media agree. effect. All right, just read it again. Just um, read what she wrote well, on social media. This is from the sun. This you, is disgusting. This yes. is when a you read it, Lizzie. senior... Yes, Lizzie, you read it. Uh, well, Senior yes. content... She has referred... Scheduler. BBC whatever. Three, yeah. She's a programme scheduler. Nobody watches BBC no. Three BBC at all. Three. But she's in a senior position and has referred to Jewish people as Nazi parasites and white people as mutant invader, invader species. Um, she has also referred to the Holocaust as the Holy... Hoax. Oh, she branded Jews a bunch of thieving squatters, accusing claimed, them of buying and selling those who kidnapped from Africa. And also claimed Britain was bigoted. So, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, mm. this woman needs to go and go now. Yeah, yeah. And I find it unbelievable mm. that there hasn't been. Can more I show of a, a picture of this, this woman? No, okay. Mm. But if she it looks was, very arrogant. But can I say, if mm. it was the other way around, there'd be a huge storm about this, and. It, you know, I'm for one not going to be quiet about Despite it. Despite the backlash, no. she said, "Come at me, my shoulders are broad." So if she's up for a fight. Well, they will be well, coming at you. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you need to be put in prison for a racism, yeah. and you need to be put in prison for um, anti-Semitism, and you need to for hate for hate yeah. speech. Yeah, it is ridiculous. This is the enemy. And I'm calling within. you out. If you think you're so clever, what's the name again? Dawn Quaver, was it? Yeah, D someone Dawn will show you Quaver. this because Quaver. it'll go on. It, this will get in social media. I like Quavers. But I'm calling... What was her name? Dawn, Dawn Quaver. Quaver. Oh, right. Um, Dawn, hate. I'd like to interview you. I dare you to come on this yeah. programme. Come on, you've got broad shoulders. You yeah. say you're tough. And See tell if you me, are tough. Come on the show. Tell me why you should be allowed to get away with that filth. I would yeah. like you to do that. Yeah. Well, maybe someone from the BBC could, could call in and, and explain yeah. it. Yeah. And if why, you're, why if you're, if you're yeah. listening, I'll call us. Maybe they agree with her. 0344 499 1000. Call us now. Tell us.
Um, well, UK population is going to get bigger, but do we care really? Well, Everything is gets bigger. His immigration forecast is to hit 7.4 million. Well, need to build a lot more hotels. Well, if By it carries on like it is, and I don't think it will, it'll be put a yeah. stop. But the fact is, we've got we've got to do something about this. Mm. I mean, it's costing us eight million a day. Well, there's ten th- tens of thousands of people in here who we don't know, and they're in here for life now. And uh, well, sadly, there's got veterans on the street, people of our own, first Listen, order yeah, of any uh, government. Hang on, both of you. Hold on, hold on. Let's not go down all this rubbish again. We know that, right? If we want to defend this country, we can do it easily. We put our navy in the channel and we say to these people, go back. Push them away. And if we need to be a little more strict, you know, these people are invading our nation. They're not coming here because the French treat them badly. And we don't want you. If you want to come to this country, come legally. And if you get in here legally and you have a, a prison record, then you should be kicked out at the airport. There are people coming in here legally who shouldn't be coming here. We need people to come here to work. We need a lot of people because a lot of Brits are too bloody lazy, which is why you go into a restaurant and there's nowhere to serve you. But a lot of these people, they won't want to work because uh, I heard on Richard, uh, I mean, on Nick Dubois' show today that you can actually claim up to about fifty, sixty thousand pounds when you count your rent in it. But so why yeah. would you ever want a job? We're, yeah. we're not tough enough, basically. We're not tough enough, and we have to look at. at, at but country. I'm getting bored with saying this every single week, and I'm going to continue to do it until the bloody stupid civil servants and the politicians who are all a bit dumb actually understand but they don't this, care we have to make well, I them don't care think, no i think they care but they don't realize people are feeling the way they are because they listen to those people who get the jobs and go into yeah, but no individual civil servant gets it's like the bbc no one actually gets named in trouble so they don't care when the organization goes no but problem, it, it, it's, no one's going to get in we trouble we need to we defend are a our soft borders country and and yeah. we've got to take a leaf out of denmark's book i don't know if you've seen yeah. they've got a yeah. new prime minister and no, we don't want. Down we don't want to go to seekers. extreme right-wing politics, which is she's, what's happening. She's middle of the road. She okay. isn't extremely she's a great right. Dame. Um, and she's a great and, and dame. all she's yeah. done, <laughs> she's she's you know yeah. made sure that, that the borders are. are, are but the problem, simple, with, yeah, the problem in Sweden is they are in very bad situation too. And the extreme right wing have a chance of getting in. We well, that's because they let in twenty-five percent of the population. Look what's with that terrible, um, you know, acid attack that happened. For that poor mother and, mm. and and her two daughters, thankfully, weren't hurt as bad. But this was but this one was of a on man. One of them is seriously yes, injured. Yes, but this is a man Life that changing. was refused mm. as, asylum twice. Why was he still here? Because doing he said he converted to Christianity, and therefore you can claim that's all you have to do, and so then you can stay here because you'll be a That's why I'm saying take religion can out we, of it because exactly. what he's same done, as the guy that blew himself up in liverpool exactly so he was muslim but he, he said he was converted and the vicar yes. of course goes oh no he's genuine because all vicars are going to say that yes. let me um let me chris in newbury said james if you made a false statement supporting an asylum claim you'd be in kink um clink um why are vicars immune when they lie about miracles muslim conversion chris in newbury I think all religions, Chris, why you even think, you know, being a Muslim is great. You can believe what you want. If you become uh, an Islamist extremist, then you will be dealt with, hopefully, soon uh, rather than later. But no religion. I mean, you all talk about things that you can't prove. Mm. And I'm not a religious person. I may have a faith, but it's not one of these sort of recognised ones. We all have faith and things we believe in in our heads and everything else. So, quite frankly... Um, Muslim conversion from Christianity. What was your name, Chris in Newbury? You talk rubbish. Sorry. Yes, but uh, on this case, um, this this man that has, uh, you know, the suspect mm. who's done this terrible attack, well, let's catch came him. in to this country in yeah, a lorry, I agree. Yeah. and now he is proclaiming he's a Christian, mm. and so maybe he's at the back of some church or something. But what? What? No, he's a, not sadly, really. That's just a, a You know. There are, there are asylum seekers that lie and lie and lie to do anything they can to get in. And sadly... They say you're gay and you get in. The gullible you know, clergymen... How are you going to prove that you're gay or not? Uh, you know, believe them and always want to see the good in people, but sadly they lie and lie to mm. do anything. Yeah. And, and we have the work... We, we take in the deported. most people in the world we take in. But why, 75%. Why, it's the biggest in the world. Why are we inviting criminals into this country? To everyone everyone gets in. We all anyone agree with in. this. Let's stop talking about this. Let's but talk it's, about... It's, well, it's all right. Like, you've, yeah, right, OK. You'll be throwing people out of the studio. I will, I will. Apparently, rugby 
is child abuse. Yeah. What is I going mean, on? This also, is... here's abuse for you. Head injuries. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Oh, we're going to be arrested by the end of the show. I love doing a tuck. Do I did that, Steve. Before. I, love, I often do. Shh. Although Lady W does not like no, that she at doesn't all. like a shush, I no. know that. Don't no. shush me. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. I, I, I don't mean to. Rugby is child abuse because they smash the kids' heads together Listen, and they end up with brain injuries. This is woke mm. brigade gone mad and, and I'm Let sick of Lizzie it. So the, a university says rugby is child abuse. Rugby yeah. in schools is a form of child abuse according to academics at the University of Winchester. Academics say rugby has become a form of child abuse. I thought Winchester was a nice place, obviously not. Under 18s. So they're going to get rid of rugby, are they? Good, good. We've just seen it. Just have football. You? Yeah, just have football. Is that yeah. the case? Um, not allowed to smash, kids aren't allowed to smash into each other outside sport, but suddenly they come into rugby and allowed to give each other brain injuries well, and, yeah, and paralyse. Exactly. They're going right, to stop rugby, going to stop boxing. They want to stop heading the ball for kids as well, which is outrageous because you've got to head the ball. You've got to head the ball. Yeah, and I've, obviously I've grown That's up football. with football. I've married a footballer. My son played football. Hang on. If you're under 10, you don't head the football. But how are they going to be good in the air when because we need he, them in the World Cup? Because skull is very, very underdeveloped at that age. Now mine's very you thick. You're, you've got a thick I've got a very thick skull. You've got um, a very thick I actually brain. agree with this. I think, you know, you see some of these people running into each other. In, I don't watch it. I don't yeah. like it. It bores me rigid. Uh, and the same with football. Well, the scrums, yeah. they can get paralysed. You're not, you're not a football fan no, or a rugby fan or a sports fan. Well, rugby is totally different. Fan. Rugby is a total... I'm not a fan of any of these ridiculous sports. Everybody, every time you but turn I on the TV... I have mates who play channel. rugby, they're on crutches, yeah. they're all teeth knocked and out, they're totally knackered. And don't bring my coffee in Ooh, that cup me. again. Talk sports. Tell her off now. And me, look. No, talk take sport. that out of shot. You can't have it. Talk TV and talk sports. No, I mean, that's ridiculous. A great partnership. It's, it's not. not very nice either, but yeah. I'll have another cup. It doesn't taste good. But the fact good. is, look, we, we, we love sports. No, we, we love, don't. I don't. Well, I there certainly like, do. Uh, Toxicolopoly, like it. don't it, it's, you? Like it's a global sport. I like sport taking part that, in it, not watching it. Yeah, yeah but you, you're not, you're not a, a sporty person, James. But there are lots of people <laughs> who will tell you that some of the things you do in these sports, even running, can damage you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, running but what do you want you to know. be wrapped up in cotton wool? And be taken you know the they have that, changed. You have cha they've changed. They've changed how kid, the balls are. They should play I mean, darts at school and snooker at safe sports like that. Yeah. In Nobby Styles' day, they had very heavy footballs. Yeah, I know. They, and when I was at school, when I they were was wet. at school with a leather football, a cobbler, get a cobbler in the and, face, and the big old um, and then a football. football boots, which were like. Well, they weighed like the heavy Hobnail leg. boots. Yes, yeah. but times have changed. They've come on with technology. Balls are lighter. They don't mm. harm your Well, they're actually the same weight, but they're, they're lighter when not wet because well, they don't wet. soak it's, the wet. They yeah. are lighter. I think calling it child abuse is uh, I think it's way top. too far, and this is and more of this woke is. nonsense. And let me tell you, and sadly, if Keir Starmer gets in, which looks like he will, there'll be more Doesn't of this. Doesn't look like and anything is And it sends chills sorted. up my But giving a kid spine. brain damage, yep. isn't that child abuse? We're going to... Bring it to an end then, and if people want to talk about it, they can. Thank you very much indeed, Lizzie. Thank you. She's going to go out now and calm down. Yeah, I mean, for goodness sake, Steve, Steve. Personally, get down. rid of, of rugby and football off the TV and radio. I'd be more than it's happy. It's not really well, on TV. Gary Lineker would be out of a job. Well, I am more than happy. Take yeah. the break. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. This helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, go, Graham. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about sport today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you'd trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. 
this concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday um, night. Uh, we slick it, Curran, Timorous, Beastie. Oh, what a panic in my Beastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so many politicians now who just said my dad was a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win. He obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that stuff is actually making more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, or that's the way it comes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should a mass stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They're that right. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. Donald Trump. If you choose to have someone who's a criminal as president, I have to accept your choice. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence? I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Yeah, so you press that. Yeah. Back, I'm not really good at this, am I? I'm really it. not. Yeah. not totally... Re Instagram the yeah. yeah. How long? Um, how long have we got? Well, we've got the ages till we're back. Okay. And then you five minutes. And then five you, minutes you till Twitter the break. it to MySpace, and then yeah. uh, it goes on to yeah. Snapchat. Ah, oh, right. Okay. That's basically yeah. how it all works. Yeah. Social media. Okay. Right. Are we back? Oh, are we? Oh, uh, right. Welcome back to the uh, James Well Unleashed program live on radio, on TV, starring until Ash. ten tonight. Um, are we now going into the next guest, or are we going to um, next, next guest. guest? Right, okay. Because um, it's not on the screen, but uh, I'm sure it will be. So we're going back to the calls in a bit. Keep them coming in. Loads of calls uh, tonight. If you get engaged, I am sorry. Uh, well, congratulations but, but, if you got engaged. Yeah, but keep trying back. Uh, and when if you rung and left your number, we will get back to you. Uh, or we will try to. Anyway. Right, now, a criminal offence... It is to own an XL bully dog in England and Wales. Uh, from now on, uh, dogs could be uh, put down, owners could be fined and prosecuted. The total number of XL bullies in the UK is estimated to be between 50 and 100,000. Uh, let's talk to uh, Faz Muzani, who is an XL bully trainer. Why, <laughs> Why is an XL bully trainer different to any other dog trainer, Faz? Uh, well, if I'm honest, I'm not an XL bully trainer. I'm mm -hmm. a dog trainer. <laughs> That's yeah. what I am. I, you know, I'm going to um, have. To, I, we have kids who, do, who feel that they have no idea. Do you do you train XL bullies? I yes. do. I train all yeah. kinds of dogs. All, all kinds of dogs. You're a Faz, dog trainer. Don't make any first, false yeah. moves. I think there's an XL bully just in your front parlour. There, be very careful. What you <laughs> no way. Which side, left or right? Oh, he's gone. It's he's right. gone. Yeah. No, oh, no, he's back. <laughs> what, what is, is it a him or a her? I can't That's tell. That's a him, from isn't this it? Angle. This is Nala. 
She's actually she's oh. actually um, one of my little baby girls. Oh, she's sorry. my queen. She's, she is absolutely beautiful. She's, now. she's beautiful now until she comes at you. Then she's not but so you know beautiful. What? I've had, I've had. You. You know, I'll tell you the most dangerous thing you have to worry about if Nala came at you, and this is the honest to God truth. Mm. She's invasive. She will get herself in your mouth. Yeah. Well, we don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree. I, I absolutely agree. I used to have German shepherds as a dog. I've had dogs for over forty years, and uh, now I have got. Um, you had a horse, laugh, you had a goat. Yeah, if you laugh, I'll be very upset. <laughs> um, but about 20-odd years ago, I, I lived in a flat in London, and I missed having the dogs around. And so I, yeah. I did a bit of um, research and found that if you get dogs like mm. Bichons, which not many people had back then, um, they don't molt, and they'd be absolutely fine being in a, a flat and, uh, and going out. I don't live there now, but I've still got my Bichons. Sadly, a couple of weeks ago, I had to have one put down. Poor old Lulu. Uh, she oh, was the so most sure. amazing. And people <clears throat> people don't understand how emotional it is. If you are a proper dog person, do you want to get the phone? It might be a client. No, um, no, no. If, it's fine. My fiance's phone. If, um, well, answer it. Um, <laughs> if, Find out. Can she not answer the phone? It's her boyfriend. She's not in the room oh. at the minute. She's just... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, she'll probably come in and do it because she'll be watching okay. and getting embarrassed. What's her name, by the way? Her name's Jessica. Jessica, pick up your flipping phone. Um, <laughs> it's, um, Did you hear that, Jess? It, listen, just before we come, we're running out of time now. But um, yes. if it's not the dog's problem, it is the problem of the people who have dogs. And a lot of these dogs, whether XL bullies or other uh, dogs of that ilk, are some of the friendliest, nicest dogs. But if you treat a dog badly, you don't deserve to have one. Now, this is what I think should happen. I'd like to know your thoughts. I would like to see brought in a £500 dog licence fee. Because if you can't afford to pay £500 for a dog licence, you can't afford a so dog. So poor people should not have dogs, is what you're saying? You can't afford it if you're poor. But the thing is with the XL Actually, bully I'd like dog, to hear him oh, sorry, reply. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry, Faz. I think that's a really, really interesting point. And you know what? I agree. I'll tell you why. If you can afford to spend five grand on a dog, mm. pay the five hundred pound licensing fee. Because do you know what that will bring to us? That will bring a bit of responsibility around dog ownership. So when we are around public spaces and we're sharing spaces, people know how to behave with the dogs. Yeah. People know what's right. But what's people will wrong. still get killed by XL yeah. bully dogs every now from yeah. irresponsible people who don't have no. licenses. We'll I mean, know. and listen, I, listen, people won't be allowed dogs. With, with XL bully death, something I'd like to touch on. What happened to your hand? So I was actually bit by a dog, well, a go. stray dog, yeah. an irresponsible owner. But if it would have been an XL bully can dog, we, it could have took your hand off. Out of time. Now stop right. I know you don't like off. dogs. I like uh, dogs. Are you sure? But these you dogs, like dogs. These, I do like dogs, but these dogs can kill I you. I read one of your tweets, James Whale. These, yep. these I read dogs. one of your tweets. If they don't like dogs, then they yeah. shouldn't be here. Yeah, absolutely. But they, these dogs absolutely. can kill you. I agree you. It's like having a lion. This can kill an adult man. Can I say another thing, Faz? And then I'll shut him up. Yeah. I am I am absolutely tiny. Look at me. Yeah. I live with five exes. Yeah, there's a bit about eight adults killed by them. I mean, but that's the just problem, a fact. Faz, the problem is that so all you, dogs have an aggression. My my Bichons. Well, it's not going to kill you, really, is it? No. But if you have a well, dog that's the like, difference, listen, isn't it? Well, listen. Well, if you have a dog like that, you need to be very uh, uh, aware of how to. Train yeah, and every now and then they're not, and someone gets killed. Seriously, so Chuck, can you Rottweilers, I'm getting fed you don't up think Rottweilers have the capability? Not as you know much as... I don't dogs? remember eight, nine people being killed by Rottweilers. When a dog kills somebody... So here's a question for you, then. Here's a funny part, right? So 84 deaths were presented, but do you know that only four were actually XL bullies verified, right? What about this? So well, one I was going to get onto that. Genetics, then, yeah, genetics. Then, I can't carry on with you oh, well, talking well, over everyone. Right? Well, you, you will go. You know, I've got to something just... Something else I'd like to consider is yeah. with the XL bully deaths, right, there, there's, there seems to be a lack of them suddenly. Don't Have you not noticed that? I have. Now, but now, suddenly, they're really dangerous in Scotland because, you know, they're coming up for that ban, aren't they? Now that this ban's hit, 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 then nobody can change that at the moment. If you nobody wants to talk about yeah, that. I agree, no one's you. Killing I agree with you. Uh, our producer just, we just right. talked about that. Um, I, 
I actually agree totally with you. The dog shouldn't be put down. Thank the you. bloody owners should. Because quite Thank frankly, yes. if you have a dog, and, I, and some ordinary, very well-to-do people I know who have a dog, and, uh, well, I don't have much to do with them anymore, and it lives in the kitchen. They say, what the friggin' heck have well, you got shouldn't have anywhere for? near food, a dog. Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, no, he's an food. idiot. No. And he's trying to be funny and clever. No, the fact no, is, a dog... You want to have a dog, it has to be part of your family. And that people might be absolutely disgusted. My dogs sleep with me. One of them yeah. sleeps under the pillow. Before I get to bed, I was like, what's that moving under my pillow? It's one of the dogs. Try this. Yeah, but Try what you're both there. saying, well, there will be people know, killed by an XL bully me. dog, and you're saying it's, oh, it's you know, you're saying not bad. You don't even, they I, don't even know if they're XL bullies. I have a double something. bed, yeah. right? There's me and my fiance, five XL bullies, and a French bulldog. Yeah. It's like play, playing Tetris at night. Lucky to be I mean, alive. Isn't it we, right? we, in, yeah. we lift up the blanket and it's like, right, you will fit there. You, you go slot yourself yeah. in there, right? And everybody finds a spot, yeah. right? You even have a three. You even have a three strike rule. If you get out of the bed three times, you're not getting back in. Yeah. Right. Well, that's good. And also, f be, finally, good. because I've got to move on. It's a great contraceptive, isn't it? Having dogs on your bed. Yeah. <laughs> so if he does what he did to his finger. Faz, thank you for talking yeah. to you know us. What? And I apologise about this idiot. Down. Everyone, knows all right. I'm, everyone knows I'm the right one. <laughs> Faz, thank you very much indeed for your that. Your mind's clouded. We'll dog, talk again. Dog love. Um, Faz, thank you, uh, a, a dog trainer. And I, I, you know, I really hate people, quite frankly, and you're beginning to get on to that, well, who yeah. actually don't like dogs. And you don't well, like I'm not, dogs. Well, I'm just, I do like dogs, but, I do, but XL no, no, bully dogs don't. kill people. That's just a Any fact. Any dog Adult. can kill somebody. Not like an XL bully dog. Oh, you've been A Bichon ridiculous. Frise, how's that going to kill you? Well, I could tell you different ways, but I'm not. It I mean, the fact is that that if you if you can't afford 500 quid for a license, you can't afford a dog. And uh, you know, I really haven't got it in for dog breeders. Old we people need, need a dog. Any... They can't afford 500 quid. They it's can't their afford own a dog. Then. Do you know how much company? a dog? If you want to go to a vet, right? You've got to have insurance for that. It's very expensive. Mm. Food for dogs is very expensive. Mm. It is a very expensive uh, thing and to have. And it's like, it. having, mm. it's like having another... Me it is having another member of the family. Call me on it and we'll talk. Uh, 03444991000. Alison, good evening in Shropshire. Oh. Alison. Sorry about that, Alison, but I just don't like people who don't understand dogs. Oh, I do understand dogs. That's I've got a Dutchess. Yeah. She's oh. 17 and a half years old. Oh, a sausage anyway. dog. But I didn't ring about that. No, no, I know. I'm just saying. Sorry, Alison, carry on. I've, I just came through to the call room and all this uh, was going on and uh, I just wanted to talk to Ash. Yeah, why do find you want to out say, his, yeah. No, find well, out his phone number and ring back again. Oh, what do you want to Dave, say? Dave in London, you oh. want to do your own show. Oh. You go and apply for a programme because well, I'm getting show. sick of you. I've got my own show. Here. Getting sick of you. Uh, go on, give her a go. What do you want to know, Why Alison? should I? What does she want to know, Alison? All right, well, hang on. One, what, one question. What's the question, one, you one want question. to ask him? I just want to ask him if he was single. Off. Now, get right Can off this program. DM me, Alison, DM me. You are totally the wrong he sex. Is single. Um, right, Dave in London. <sighs> Can we just Hello, come out as being gay and then you won't get all this if hassle. you want to? Yeah. Um, Dave, hi. What can we do for you? Yeah, just getting back to that dogs, mate. Um, I've had, uh, been brought up all my life with dogs. Uh, obviously, I just don't like dogs. That's why I, I do like, like dogs. No, I don't like doesn't. dogs that have the ability to kill you well, and do dogs. kill. Right. No, all dogs, all dogs can kill you. Let no, me, they let, can't. Let, let, a chihuahua let, can that kill you? Can we not have this argument anymore? Or you well, will go? It's a go, stupid right? argument. You I, will go. Got, you could trip well, over a chihuahua, actually, yeah. Yeah, I've got an uh, American Mastiff. I've yep. had him for 15 years. Just like and a poodle, yeah. not only a good dog, he's my best mate. Yeah. Now, that yeah. dog they all can say kill that. people, right? Can kill people, but he will not attack anybody. He has been a guardian, a friend. He's my best mate. Well, you could have a lion, so, couldn't you? People used to have lions in the 70s. But then they realise it's stupid to drive around London. I'm sorry line. about this, Dave. I am getting really sick of you. Well, doing everything this. I say is true. No, it's you. You're no, just it's surprised. Crap. You're, talking, you're talking crap, mate. Well, what's That's not true? What I've said. James. Well, you, 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 you've just you said can't. your dog can kill people. Why should people no, be out, have a dog, dog that can kill any people? Any dog can kill someone. It's the way they they looks <laughs> after. I agree with a five hundred pound um, uh, license fee. Yeah, but, but, uh, 
my dog is well fed, well looked after. Yeah, but they all say that when they kill people, they go, oh, he's always been good, and then suddenly he turns. I'm talking to James, not yourself. Well, you? he's all... He, oh, you just I'm want to talk to someone who agrees with you. You don't want to talk to someone who agrees with you, then? Go on, yeah, just all agree with each other. No, it's not, it's not agreeing You're just that. agreeing, yeah, Actually, you're right, I think, you're look, right, I, you're right. Hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop out... And, uh, and get another no, coffee. He wants to have agreement, and you have a you tell him and put him in right, his place okay. for the next couple of minutes. So you, you like a dog ahead. that can kill yeah. people, and, and it won't know, but you're not sure. It could go at any minute. It's a dog, isn't it? It could. It, someone might poke it. A kid might poke it, and suddenly it, it bites the kid's arm. Have you ever? Have you ever owned a dog? I had a tortoise. You carry on. No, have you ever owned a dog? Let's talk. Well, no, I've had a tortoise. I just said I've got had a tortoise. Yeah. Yeah. Have you so what's the point in talking to you if you can't talk a sensible argument? Well, what I've just said, you've just said you've got a dog that could keep kill people, but he, he Any won't. dog can kill someone. No, he can't. A poodle, what you're talking about. What a poodle, you don't know what you think a poodle can kill me, do you think? How's it? How's the poodle going to kill me? How's a chihuahua? How's a sausage dog? I'm just going to go like that, it's gone. I'll do that to an XL, it's going to be around my floor. I'll go. If you fall over, gets around the throat, it will kill you. It's quite simple. What, a chihuahua? They've got very sharp teeth. Yeah, all right. I don't hear many people being killed by chihuahuas. No, nor do I. But you hear a lot of XL bully dogs, don't you? Being yeah, I'll people. talk about an XL bully dog. I'm oh, well, what's your views on them the specifically? Because they are... What is your views on those? They should be licensed. They should be licensed. So when they kill they someone, they go, it's all right, he had a licence. No, they, if, if you're going to take it out, that should be on a muzzle. Well, that, I agree well, with you there. All those dogs dog should be on... Like in Europe, they have muzzles. Why don't they do that? Then it would be well, all right, wouldn't know. it? That, that's, I can't make that rule. But no. put them on a muzzle. Yeah, you're right. Put the actually. dog on a muzzle, put yeah. them on a lead. Yeah. And then... Well, I agree. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I think the worst thing to do is put a dog down. Yeah. Put him on a muzzle, give the, the whatever, £500,000 licence, and say, right, if that dog's not muzzled, uh, not on a lead... Then we will. Yeah, I think that's what the laws story. are coming in. But I mean, these dogs are even, you know, very rarely an Alsatian or a Rottweiler could kill an adult. It can do, but an XL bully dog, it's about fifty-fifty if it attacks an adult because it just goes for the throat. It does, but the, the, the thing being is, if you're a responsible owner, which um, well, they're not, though, aren't they? A lot of people have been breeding them, and they're like first yeah. cousins, and they're getting but, deranged. Totally agree, especially if you've got young kids. So it's turned out you agree with me and disagree with James. Thank you very much. We'll take a breaky. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Criminals to use the XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man, and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you'd trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday. Um, uh, we slick it. Poor and timorous beastie. I've got a panic in my breastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so <laughs> many politicians now who just said, my dad was a boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> 
creating all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win, he obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that's done is actually make him more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, or that's the way it comes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. If you be quiet, that would be fine. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, but he's You're talking trying to, to me, tell me so. I think we're yeah. back in a minute. Uh, right. Now, gospel singer Hermani uh, London. Is that a made-up name? No, it's my real name. Is he your real Harmony name? Harmony London. Oh, Harmony yeah. London. Right. Yeah. That's a good idea, isn't it? Right, yeah. Yeah. Good name for a well. band, isn't it? Harmony um, London. Anyway, Harmony hit the headlines uh, during the week. Was it last week or a week before? Yeah, just mm. last Sunday. And you will remember when you see this. Run the beat too. Uh, religion you're allowed to do anywhere. No, no miss, you're not allowed you are, to sing ch you are, songs, basically. church you are. songs outside of church grounds, by the way. You're not allowed to sing church songs outside, outside of church, or church uh, songs or uh, church you're grounds. You're not allowed to, that's fine, that's you're fine. You're not allowed, she just said you're not allowed to sing church songs outside of church. Our church of, outside of church grounds, unless you have a Unless that's you've a been authorized of it. by the church to do this kind of song. Not saying anything anymore, thank are you saying that you don't care about the Human Rights Act? You're lost? Hmm. Have you put the tongue out? So they threatened to arrest again. you for a crime but that wasn't we, happen. Yeah, before we talk about that, why are some police people so stupid? How do we get such thick, ignorant and stupid people in the police force? She works apparently in a cafe or a... Not that yeah, Costa quite, Coffee. You know, I hope She's a Costa a Coffee. She, <laughs> she <laughs> is yeah. better than that. We do not need specials in our police force. We need yeah. proper I police men I don't think she was a PCSO. She wasn't even a special, I think. PCSO? Special? Same no, they're thing? different. They're different they? Okay. Well, we don't need them. Now, Hermani, how do you feel? Were you frightened? I don't think you were frightened. Harmony. What did I call her? Hermione. Har Harmony. Harmony. Okay. Yeah. Harmony. What do, yeah. You, um, what do you think? Well, I was really intimidated because yeah. I'm not really the type of person that's used to confrontation. I don't really engage in things like that. So I just felt really intimidated, humiliated. Who was filming? Um, I have a videographer with me. Oh, why? Right. And did they threaten you with arrest? Well, they threatened to seize my equipment. They on what ground? They're not allowed, are they? <clears throat> They're not, but no. I don't like confrontation. And also, I can't... If she was to seize it on me the spot... Me too, I hate confrontation. Yeah, if she was to seize it on the spot, I don't... I can't yeah. afford to buy back my equipment. I was gifted yeah. it, kindly. Are you taking action so. against the police force? Um, I just think whatever procedures the <clears throat> police decide to take is... Well, they've just have, said, oh, we've taught her the right on, laws now. They've have that, have they responded to you? Well, they've responded. They said that they were wrong. Oh, um, they admitted they were wrong? Mm. Yeah, it was also Good. discussed in the House of Commons. Ian Paisley brought it, it was, up in yeah. House of Commons. And Paisley Jr., yeah. Yeah, and they were um, saying that it was wrong. Yeah. And they've so, re-educated her on the law. You Did you have Apparently. permission to be on the street where you were? Because if you busk... You have to she have wasn't busking. Permission. No money. Yeah. So, so 
with human rights, you're allowed to put your beliefs into action without yeah. any interference from, from public authority. Mm. So <clears throat> what I was doing was actually sharing the gospel, which I'm completely within my rights to mm. do. Like so for her, Yeah. So if you've been a Muslim, over, yeah. singing Muslim songs, are there mm. such things? Yeah. And uh, do you think they would have come over and confronted you? Well, I think it was a personal thing that she kind of did it for. I mean, if you see at the end of the video, as because I packed up, as she's walking off, she's like smirking. She's like, like almost laughing. Mm. Why would you say personal? Why would you think? Because no one called her there. No one made any complaints. I always make sure mm. that everyone's happy with me being there. And you've got a great voice. We'll hear a Thank bit you. in a moment. Do you think so she's jealous of you? I think so. I find that with some yeah. women, find other women. Because she stuck her rather because... ugly and very sort of... Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, you know, there's sometimes loads of stuff on her jealous. tongue which wasn't attractive. Yeah. <clears throat> what did you feel oh. like when she stuck her tongue at you? Did you think you were just ridiculous? Or? It was yeah. just... It was just shocking. Like, you don't really expect officers to act like no, that. That wasn't even a nice tongue, was it? No. I mean, let's face it, it was a <laughs> really horrible tongue. brush your tongue. Yeah. yeah. You've got to brush your tongue every morning, yeah, haven't yeah. you? I oh, always yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. When five police officers turned up, did mm. any say anything like one led over and said, sorry about that? Or... No. No? They all just kind of, they like, let her They all get talk. together, don't they? Yeah. They, they just let her Were they all specials just... or, or they do, whatever right? they're called? I'm not really sure. I can't because they don't wear like badges to say that they're. It's special. very unclear, isn't it? Because one looks like a policeman, but they're not. <laughs> yeah. So the reason that I knew she was a volunteer, she actually told someone who was saying, "Oh, let us sing. Um, you're not getting paid to like. Are you getting paid to do this? You're not mm. getting paid." She was like, "Actually, I'm not paid." So that's how I. Knew ah, she was. I thought they right. Did get paid. I don't think she'll be working for the police for very much longer because you know. she gets free travel on TFL. That's worth a few grand a year. What? <laughs> and a reduction in council tax, so that is a really? few grand. If, you, if yeah. I go outside now and sing, can I apply for that? I mean, No, you should be arrested if you sing, because <laughs> well, it's I'm, a public I'm not, nuisance. I'm not, I'm not going to go outside and, and sing for any reason other than to praise the Lord or Allah well, or whoever you want to believe that. in. We'll do that, we'll film you know. that and get you arrested. So if I sang, all things bright and beautiful, <laughs> all creatures great and she, small... She can't sing. You see, would I, I, I could... Well, why not? I don't, well, I I don't can't know. Why sing. Well, I mean, you're within your rights to do that. As long yeah. as no one's complaining, no one's, you know, offended but, by it, but you're But you would be with that, wouldn't would you? Would you? Why? Well, just the way it was sung was quite offensive. Do you think? I mine? mean, I wouldn't mind that. So she does but... really. <laughs> no, she's got a good sense. You try doing she harmony had... with that. Was it? Was it something that made you think twice about doing it again, or have you got so annoyed now? I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do it more often. Yeah. I mean, I'm not annoyed. I'm just going to continue. Like I posted it for awareness, and I received a lot of support, thankfully. Um, and I'm just going to continue. Mm. Have I, you gained followers? Did you already well, have listen, a big following? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I did. But she's that's grown a lot. She's got not, 330,000 on, on uh, subscribers on YouTube. Harmony yeah. London, follower on YouTube. Diana yeah. Ross has tweeted about you. Yeah. We really? love Diana Ross. Can you do Ross. a yes. duet with Diana Ross? Hopefully one day. Get in contact with her. Well, yeah. it has to be soon. She's getting on a bit. Jay-Z <laughs> loves you? Yeah. Oh, well. He wanted to sign me, actually. So get in contact, get a manager and get in contact with these people. Did you sign with Jay-Z? I mean, I've been approached by all major record labels, I but... I mean, we've got a contract here that we've... We've uh, got it written out, we've and written out all you've got to do before you leave yeah. is sign on the bottom. The thing is, I'm trying to master my craft. We'll, well don't worry don't about that. Be, we'll sort that out for you. I don't want to be one of those do fake it. singers, like, auto-tuned, I can't sing live. I love singing in yeah. public. I love touching people, you know? And yeah, you with careful. your voice. You yeah, with my voice. You've got to be very careful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right. yeah, with my voice. Right. I just feel like it's really important. Yeah, I agree. And I, th I think you did it beautifully. Now, we're going to get some Thank music you. from you, are we? OK. Have you got a, a pianist? Are we bring, do we, no. Did we say? Oh, no, we didn't. Wouldn't okay. Have one OK. Oh, a cappella. But okay. you off, you usually play the piano when you're singing, yeah, I don't do. you? Yeah, I do. I do. I thought I did tell them, I said, could you get her to bring a pianist in or a piano? That would have been great. I yeah. would have loved to. And they ignored me again. There's going to be, oh, so there's the gonna be a well. meeting after the show, guys. I can what feel do you do the meeting. As a profession, do you, do you, what do you do? I'm a singer. I'm right, famous. you're a professional singer. Yeah. So do you do you sing on records, do backing singing, So singing I'm clubs? actually working on recording my album at the moment. Yeah. And I'm going to release that. I'm going to do some shows. And <clears> yeah. <throat> What's the album going to be called? Do you know yet? Haven't thought of a name yet. But I'll think of something clever. Yeah, see. excellent. Yeah. Harmony London. Harmony always. It's not very good. Always. Mm. If that police lady with the rather ugly tongue is watching, 
do you have a, a, a record a, a record do you have a message yeah. for harmony if you do call us zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand and harmony do you have a message for the police lady i don't have a message for the just police lady out. i just you know um I just felt quite targeted, and mm. but I forgive her. I never hold anything against anyone, so sure. I'm fine with her. Okay. But well, that's a very magnanimous way. Will all your songs have religious content, or will you do some that uh, will appeal to everybody? Well, my music always appeals to everybody. Mm. I'm, I get atheists listening to my music, Muslims, Jewish, mm. all cultures. I mean, I'm all not religions. religious, but I love gospel. Yeah, gospel is in pop music. Yeah. I mean, you two. Do, um, do gospel? Yep. Are you part um, of a church that does gospel? Do you go to a, a regular? Oh, no. She's her own self. I'm, no, because yeah. some of the greatest singers, yeah, like Whitney Houston, and, yeah. that, yeah. and they all went to this yeah. one church. Didn't they? Yeah, they yeah. did. Amazing. But yeah, I do it myself. Um, yeah. Even yeah. Justin Bieber, in his lyrics, Bible verses. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, gospel. What are you going to sing for us? Influence. I'm going to sing Oceans. Oh. Oh. Written by you? No, not written by me. Well, who was it written by? Um, Hillsong. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm getting a frog in my throat, so I just relax a bit, take yeah, relax, some water, man, relax. and enjoy harmony and oceans. Okay. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Saviour just a little snippet. You cannot do that without the permission of the church. No, I mean, oh, no. no, no. And I, we've got we've got a little more time, so do me another one. Do a, do a, another one. Yeah, oh, no, she's not prepared. Oh, you're not one. prepared. All no, 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 right. I'm not prepared, but uh, you can have a listen if you'd like yeah. on my YouTube yeah. and Instagram. Which is what? Okay. Just your name. Harmony yeah, just London. my name. Literally. And so, are you? Will you be out singing live anywhere this week? Yeah. Where? Uh, in Oxford Street, same place. Oh, That's same place. Yeah, because because I have a big following, a lot of people specifically will go there to look for me. Will you get more people? I um, think so. Potentially. Do you know what? I think you should do a duet. Do you know Brendan, who got started on by the police at King's Cross Station recently? He's a big pianist. He gets a million followers. Oh, on. yeah, I did You should do that, a duet yeah. with him because you both had police problems and it would be great yeah. to get you together and mm. do a, 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 a something together. Yeah, I yeah. mean... Brendan, if you listen, get in touch. Yeah, Brendan. Get in touch, Doctor K. And he's been, he's been. Uh, well, he's got the communists going, after him. He? Yeah. Why has he got the communists? Oh, well, he upset that's the, the Chinese. He upset yeah. Showing yeah. their their yeah. images. Be very. Ken wants to say. Oh right. no. He's I very religious. Gospel. That he'll love you, Ken. Hello, mm. Harmony. God bless you, dear sister. You love Jesus. I wonderful. It's wonderful you're singing. I'm the old man who stands behind you sometimes, holding the board. Jesus is coming soon. Do you remember me? Holding the board, oh, the old man with the beard, the strange yeah, man. Yeah, 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 oh, you yeah. know each other. Yeah, yeah I know him. Do you like him? him? Are you yeah. worried a bit about him? He's all right, Ken. No, no, I love him. He's a bit of a nuisance. Why don't you join no, in with him? He is he's... a bit of a nuisance. I have to tell him. Ken, off. no, no Ken can sing what? song. Ken, I'll, sing us a song. No, Ken. no, I'm not having Ken on the show. Sing, your song. sing us a song, in Ken. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Stop it now. I know that. When, when, um, he comes on, he gets very rude eventually about oh, people who are gets, gay gets and i won't have that he's not rude and he all, loves them all no, but he, he says doesn't. they're going to it's going to happen to them but I, and i find that offensive by all religions you know you mm. go to a muslim country they'll hang you or whatever yeah. and that's why i i find it really can you sing annoying. in the name of jesus Ken? no no in, in the name, name of jesus, jesus. No, no, we no. walk to victory do you want to talk to him quickly yeah, here's a song okay go ahead yep. harmony this is a song for you harmony okay. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh, we yeah. have the victory i can easily do that with in the name of jesus in the name of jesus demons will have to flee for when we stand in the name of Jesus, tell me who can stand before in that Keep in time, Ken. name of Jesus, we have the victory. Mm. Hallelujah! I like that harmony. Would you do a duet with him? No, you wouldn't. No. <laughs> God bless you, James and Ash. God bless you, He's James. gone of his own us. accord. Mm. Unbelievable. Does He's he chewing. It's coming. Repent. The Savior is yeah. coming. Repent is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. 
God bless you, Harmony. Ken, what you, so, what's your message to the policewoman who started on her, on Harmony? What's your message to the police? Oh, that police lady. Well, let me tell you, I think the police force have been actually wonderful with me as a Christian. They allow us to preach, to sing. Yeah. The police have never caused us any trouble in, in Westminster. They've been wonderful, actually. They're very friendly, and I commend the police force. Mm. The lady who did that was not a genuine police lady. No, she's wrong, only man. a part-timer. Yeah. She, she, she's not representing the police force. She makes a good skinny latte, view, though. My view as a Christian, the police force in Westminster area, Downing Street, Parliament, <laughs> wonderful men and women, wonderful, wonderful men and women. And God bless them. God bless the and police force. We as need well. a strong horses. police force. Mm. I mean, usually I hey, do are you all right? Have you been, have you been <coughs> drinking? Or? No, he's gave up, drink, he gave up drink a long time ago, didn't you, Ken? Of course I did. Jesus set me free. He set me free. That's a wonderful song, Harmony. And will he you... Set me free. Amen. Will you join... Oh, will Sorry, you... I thought we were going into another song. No. We will have you... videos together on YouTube. Me yeah. And then. We have collaboration. Yeah. Well, if he comes yeah. up behind you, you can get all Call the police. details and stuff. No. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, are you going to go and see her again this week? I hope to I hope to see how many how many the ba the banner is behind you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> what day in Oxford Street you is it you're going to be there? Um, tomorrow. Thank you, what, Ken, HMV, very much. Thank, Thank you, Lewis. John Lewis, Lewis. Outside John Lewis tomorrow. Yeah. Gonna... I did want to say I do get good responses from police officers. I actually had yeah. a video that's more that has more views than this video of a <clears> police officer <throat> giving me money and <clears> telling me to continue singing. That that police officer. Mm -hmm. Ex police officer, I think. But she wasn't a police um, officer. Actually, yeah. has done you more good than anything else. Yeah. Because it's I mean, it's really boosted your, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's be honest. It really has. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Well, it enabled me to have a slice of pizza because I am so hungry tonight. I, I have breakfast and then I haven't had anything else to eat. What are you doing drink. tonight? Saturday night? You're going out now? You're going partying, clubbing? I don't. I don't party. Good. Literally. Why not? I'm sensible. I'm an introvert. Team. I just stay. I just stay good. home. Preach You're not an introvert now. Read the Bible. No, I am. This no, is a, this is a bit of a persona. I'm really shy. Good, good. I, I was so I, nervous for this I, as well. I am very glad you came in. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. I'm glad We're going to take a break on Talk TV and, and Talk Radio on for the, the news. <laughs> Have a chat. Three, two, one. Uh, go, Grams. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle, and me, Nicola Thorpe. This is Talk TV. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man, and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday. Um, uh, we slick it, poor and timorous beastie. Open a panic in thy beastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so many politicians now who just said, my dad was a boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> 
meeting all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win, he obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that's done is actually make him more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, or that's the way it goes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should a mass stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. This is Talk TV. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. If you love the fireworks with Sadiq Khan, you'll absolutely hate that was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night with Lois Perry, James Benbridge, Pete Barnes, and of course the lovely Howard Cox. I hate you, you woke <laughs> little dick. I Uh, right, welcome back. Yeah. Unleashed in the final hour of the show. Uh, been a very busy show. She was lovely, wasn't she? What brilliant, really yeah. nice music. Um, I don't know why, but I've been extremely hu hungry, and I'm fine now. It's been hangry. I have been very hungry. Yeah. Maybe that's what makes me a little bit sort of cross. Or something. That's why I say hangry. Hangry, yeah. Um, good evening, both. Uh, this is from Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Say hello to Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Uh, I've had a rubbish day, and you are cracking me up. Well, I'm we're not meant to. We've been doing a no, serious no, hard-hitting show. No, no, I'm glad we're making you... Uh, you're like an old married couple. What? You're like an <laughs> you're, old married no, we're couple. No, like, you newly went. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Rachel. Right. We Rachel. Says from getting... Emma. Rachel Emma. Rachel Emma. Says Emma at the bottom. Oh, Rachel. I think Rachel's her... Um, Real name, and Emma's her No, no, Rachel, name. because it's under there, is the name she wants to be known by. A stage name. She doesn't, name. Yeah, doesn't want name, you to yeah. read out her name. Uh, this Ash bloke should be removed from the show. Uh, he is uh -huh. ultra annoying. Yeah. Well, keep watching, and, Alan. Keep watching. Yeah. We know you love it. And imagine how I feel, Alan, if yeah. you think he's annoying. Um, oh, fine. Let's go to Alan. Yeah. Here's Alan in uh, Shropshire. Was that you sent in that text, Alan? Yes. Now you can tell him. Right, um, um, my two things is, um, just number one, just quickly, I love your show because you, you have a platform and you speak <coughs> properly. Oh, right. And you, yeah. say, you say what the country needs. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. Ne I love it. Today. Good. Ne I next. Just, I, I just want to you up on something, James. Yeah. Sorry, my um, nose is running now. I think I might have a cold. The lady that was 80 years old, yeah. 80 years of age, have some kind of respect. The way you cut her off. That's Shut up, you stupid man. Go away. Cut him off. Yeah. Goodness right, let's so. go to Abdul. Hey, buzz him. Good. Abdul in Liverpool. Say, so, mate, Abdul in Liverpool. Don't tell me who I actually have yeah, to yeah. Uh, cut off. Yeah. And I'm nearly as old as that lady. Just because you're old doesn't mean you, you know... It, you... You're patronising them. Yeah. I'm actually treating them equal. Like you're ageist. Well, he was being rude to me, wasn't he? Or both of us. Oh, yeah. um, Abdul in Liverpool. Hi, Ab. Hi, hi, James. Hi, Ash. All right, Thanks for taking my call. What can we do um, for you? I want to talk about Abdul Azidi. Oh, right, OK. Do you know where he is? Well, we can't really... Um, it's an ongoing thing, really. We can't really talk a lot. Yeah, more. we can, because... Uh, we, we can talk can... about asylum seekers not getting well, kicked depend, out of the country. We can... We can oh, sorry, I shouldn't eat on it. Um, we, can, we can, because it is now in all the media. I don't yeah, think... It's not, um, it's let not, me check. Yeah. Let me check with the producer. You can't... Yeah. What do you think... 
you, you weren't yeah. listening to that. We were can't you? really talk about the case. We need to ask you a legal question, and you're not listening. We, we, can't, oh, we can't talk specifically about the case, but we can talk about Im illegal immigration <coughs> and not being kicked out. And he so. wants to talk about the guy who's running around the country hiding from the police who covered. Um, we can't really. Well, why not? But let's talk generally paper. about okay. asylum seekers. So not let's being say generally about an asylum seeker. What do you want to say? Uh, um. No, um, well, I wish I knew where he is. Um, you mentioned before that he converted to Christianity yep. for his asylum claim. Well, yep. they say they do. Yeah. That yeah. happens before. In Liverpool, well, yeah, it happened, yeah. actually. You know, well, well, I used to be a Muslim, you see, myself. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you know what taqiyya is? Taqiyya. Is that, one, I thought is that, that was Is that where you get killed? Is that apostasy, is it? No, 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 no. It's a form of deception where it's permissible to lie to non-Muslims. Yeah, that's right. I know that. It's permissible to lie no. to get, get your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Muslim scholars, they, they do differ. Some say it's, it's, it's regarding, um, it, it's only to, to, to the enemy, to the kuffar, if your life is in danger when, you were, when Muslims were persecuted. But some have said that, in general, you're allowed to yeah. lie to... Some people will say, if you're not a Muslim, you are kuffar. And we had Sah Sahail in, who's, who was, a, um, you know, links to... Well, he, yeah. he, he, he was to support terrorism, and he totally changed the other way. He said his mum would refuse to lo learn English because she wouldn't learn the language of the kuffar. And basically, yeah. if you're not Muslim, you're considered a kuffar by a lot of people in this country. Yeah. That's why yeah. I don't like religion. I, I it's would... silly, isn't it? It's just they, just... they just believe stupid things. And all religions over the course of time have felt it's it's a, applicable within their beliefs, think of the Crusades, mm. Mm. to go out killing people. Well, because also they don't raping the women who are of yeah. the religion. They, could, they can be treated like animals, <laughs> anyone who's not of the religion, and that's what we've seen. I in... don't like you degrading animals, I've already told well, you. Well, you know, animals that's what we're seeing with the rape like gangs, that. and we see it in Germany, we see it going on everywhere, yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well... I, and I, the Yazidi girls, before. of course. My point is, I was listening to... Um, a sheikh, well, a long time ago, he said it's permissible to lie to a non-Muslim for whatever reason, general. Well, Muslims common, can't yeah. lie to each other, of course. Yeah. A Muslim can't lie to each other. Yeah. But to a non-Muslim, to gain asylum... You to can do anything. All right, OK, we understand, Abdul. Thank you very much indeed. Just converting from one fairy tale, I would think, to another uh, won't really... Yeah, but some fairy tales don't What do. we need is for the bishops to be kicked out of the House of Lords. We need this to be a secular country not associated with a religion, any religion. And if you want to come and live in this country, you can follow any Church religion you like. Church of England's been like. fine now in the last few years. It's you secular, can, really, uh, isn't it? Well, you don't need it. The fact is, it's just unnecessary. They've got loads of land. Let's distribute that back amongst oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and then they plead poverty. But... Uh, I, all religion unbelievably rich so but you can believe what you want but you cannot be allowed to go out uh, promoting your religion if it's against the uh, it's law of the land or hate and anything else uh gary good evening you're on the air hello gary hi james hi everybody gary what do you want to yeah i was just going to say make a quick quip that I think Ash is called Ash because he's got ash-coloured hair. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, he's got... No, but I didn't have it when I was... No, maybe you're right. Yeah, well, yeah, on, you on, right. The subject, on the subject of Israel, etc., there'll never be an answer to that. Nothing, anything that anyone can do will ever sort that problem out. But they sorted out with Jordan and Egypt. They did find peace with those countries. Well, that might be going fairly soon, the way things well, it are. It seems to be holding. And Saudi Arabia now is coming on board. Yeah, this can be sorted out... If the Palestinian people can be freed from the scumbags of Hamas. The thing is, in the West Bank, they actually uh, pro Hamas now. 85% would vote for Hamas, which is why Fatah won't have an mm. election. So there's a bit of a fly in the ointment there. Um, can we, um, the situation with Hamas is what we are being told because we all know that all wars use propaganda, all warmongers, whether they're the defender or the attacker, they all... We, they yeah, we know all that, use, Gary. We oh, know. Well, what's your point, then? What's the point? Well, the, the whole point is, why are people getting themselves um, personalised by saying, I stick up for Hamas, and then other people saying, I stick up for Israel? Mm. D don't take Well, well that's because what happens... That, oh, sorry, you can't say that, Gary! It's well, a human. Stupid, it's it? the I mean, you, human you have condition. To support the right, isn't it? correct. Sign. The human condition that we have freedom of speech and we have freedom of thought. Quite rightly, there's good but and evil, you, and you should support yeah. the good and, and not you, support the evil. If really you basic want, stuff. Ah, shut up. If you want to come out and support of terrorist organisations, people who go into a, a, a 
uh, into the kibbutz and then they just slaughtered everybody in the most vile way and filmed it. We don't want people like that around in the world, do we? Mm. I mean, that's well, just disgusting. And had they done it, say they 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 come into I don't, I don't know. Let's think of somewhere in the middle, a smallish place. I, I don't know. Norwich. Norwich? Gone to Norwich. It's quite a big city, Norwich, but you know, Didcot. 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 Yeah, what about Didcot? When is a Didcot? Did that sort of thing uh, from another country? Will yeah. we just sit back? Will we just say? And people say, oh, that's terrible now. You've killed more people than they killed. And it's terrible. It would be the equivalent would be 6,000 people slaughtered <laughs> in this country. So the fact is that you can call for a ceasefire, and we have in this country. We don't want to see innocent people killed. Well, David Cameron hasn't. The Suna, uh, Rish, Rishi they Sunak have all hasn't. said Rishi we would hasn't. like to see, as soon as possible, a ceasefire. But until yeah. the attackers, Hamas... Are prepared to surrender and put down their weapons and release the hostages. No one's going on about hostages. this baby's a year yeah. old and yeah. people ripping yeah, down yeah. the posters, yeah. calling it genocide. Thanks, Gary. Let's talk to Anne, who's uh, in Kent. Anne, hi. Hello. Yes, Hello. Anne. What can we do for you? <laughs> yes. Um, earlier on, you were talking about um, what you're doing with people's ashes. Oh yeah. Um, well, my husband died five years ago. Yeah. We've been married thirty-eight years. And we always had really big firework parties. Um, oh, I know where that is. Oh, you're one of those annoying them. people. You blew him up in a firework. Oh, I hate Some people who yeah. let fireworks off. No, but she they put do. her husband then, inside the firework. Did you? Well, whatever. That's what they do. November the 5th. You don't 5th, like you that idea. November the 5th. I do. Wonderful. It was wonderful. What type of firework? Yeah. Was it a big, expensive one? There I was um, rockets and... Yeah, but what one was he in? What, which one was he attached to? The, it, all of them. Oh, yeah, I would, I would, if you, if them. you're going to do cremation, I would rather make the ashes now, from what I've learned over the years, I'd rather make them into a necklace or a bracelet. A diamond a you can make, but you know what else you can do now? There's a new environmentally friendly way. You can have um, the person deceased freeze-dried and smashed into powder with a hammer and spread over a field. Anyway, Anne, thank you very oh. much indeed. Moving on and cheering myself up. Karen is, uh, where are you, Karen? In the in London, London area. Yeah, Karen, let's go. We go to uh, some of these calls flooding in from Yorkshire afterwards. Uh, yes. We won't understand them. Oh, shut up. You're really annoying me tonight. Good. You might not be back on. Good. Uh, Karen. Hello, it's Karen from Elton. Yes, Karen. Essex. Hello. Oh, don't speak um, like that, Karen. It really Karen the Essex girl. Hello, Karen here, the West... I can't help, I can't help. She can't you. help, she can. She she go so down, good. go down a, a, an octave. I think it's a beautiful accent. Oh, stop oh, trying to grease you. up to all these oh, I like callers. That. Are you single, thank Karen? You. Hmm? Are you single? Am I single? Yeah, I'm single. Mm. <laughs> Ash, you said she's really nice and you like her. Let's arrange now a date between you and Karen. Mm, yes, please. And film it. And what, then put all it on of the it? show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We well, don't get very far, yeah. let's face it. Yeah. Yes, got a what, a swat stick? Yeah, yeah. A peony stick. So why is it you like him? Um, well, why not? I mean, why do I like him? I, I, like? I like his uh, laid-back... Right. And he's very clever. He's he's really he's really intelligent, and I like that in a man. Uh, he's not intelligent. Is that why you don't like James? James? That's why you don't like. Anyway, James. had enough of you. Thank you very much indeed. Well, it makes a lot um, of sense. Yeah. Right. Okay. What we're going to do because Thanks, uh, this coming week it is National Kidney Cancer Awareness Week, and I'm I wasn't aware of that. Uh, well, Thanks you for are making now, me aware of it. And uh, I'm doing my bit interviewing myself. So when did you first get kidney cancer? I got it 25 years ago, and then it came back about four years ago, and I am. Stage four, which is, means terminal, could pop off at any minute. Um, but I've had a good life, and I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed about that. Oh, that poor guy from, um, from um, Escape to the Country, whose name's just gone out of my... And he died... 50 years old, very... Two years ago, he's got a young... Chip no, he off. died the other day, two yeah, days ago. two days. Did I say two years? Two days yeah. ago. Um, I know, it's so sad to read that. But all cancers have their awareness week. Kidney cancer this week. And... Uh, you go to our website, kidneycancer.uk, and check out our helpline and various other things. I'm saying ours because I started this cancer with some. I started this. I started this charity of hmm. about t nearly 20 years ago. It was ago. originally called the James Whale Charity. The James Whale Charity. Well his own name on a charity. As soon as I could get my name off it, we had to. Um, there was a little charity that. Uh, anyway, yeah. so now it's Kidney Cancer UK, and we uh, we appeal for people to give us help. We appeal people who might feel they have kidney cancer. 
Um, and you give help to people uh, about kidneys. Yeah, you can we, contact we, and, and find we, out information. We will give you experts to talk to. We will give you other people very good. to talk And support, to financial way. support yeah. if you actually need yeah. it. So check out Kidney Cancer UK. If you're worried, if you have a bit of a backache or you pee some blood, mm. you need to go it's and It's probably not anything out. bad, but yeah. you, you should always get it checked. Have we got... No, I'll, it's at home, but I'll do it when I do the, the equal test. But anyway, have you finished the interview with yourself? You should thank yeah. yourself thank for you joining very, yourself. Thank you very much indeed, James, for coming in and talking about it. Well, and now fine. thank yourself yeah. for thanking you. I thank you. Fine. It's very confusing. But please, if you could do anything, check out our website. And if you are worried about it, we, uh, Lady W and I, not him, do a podcast called Tales of the Whales, which talks about it, and you can find that wherever you find your podcasts. Um, but please... The, the watchword for this, and I know everybody says it, it gets really dull when people in the media talk about it, and I didn't like talking about it for a long time, but I have found that it does, you know, some people have, uh, have found it really very helpful. Mm. Um, if you're worried, you can go and buy things like this, the Ickle test that mm. I've been mm. talking about, and you wee on it, and it will show whether you have any blood in your Take wee Take the wrapper off, I made that mistake. And you didn't but, mind holding it. He was actually enjoying it, even though I told him I just weed on it. He now, didn't mind. I, he's got dogs, he doesn't mind. I, that sort of I did one. I am, I am stage four cancer. And nothing showed up. But then I'm getting treatment, so hopefully there is no blood in my wee unless the tumours in my kidney go mad, so I'm being looked after. If you get blood in your wee, it doesn't mean you've got cancer. But it could be a, a lead towards one prostate cancer, bladder cancer, kidney cancer. Yeah. Uh, but there could are be a lots... kidney stone. I had L blood yeah. in my wee, lots of master juice. It yeah. was a kidney stone. Lots of other uh, ways of testing for cancer. And if you're really worried, ring up your doctor. And if they're difficult to get through and get an appointment, but get an appointment and get yourself checked out. Because the sooner you discover you have a cancer, the better. The yeah. better because there's all kinds of treatments now that they didn't have 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. When I first had kidney cancer, I had to have it cut out. Remember, that was a big You had to go, time. it was a barber surgeon, wasn't it? It was, it was that in medieval <laughs> times. It was terrible. That's why they had the red and white things <clears throat> spinning around. But. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to be talking to uh, uh, a guy who was on death We're not row going in the news now. For, aren't we? You're starting to think we're going oh, in the thought... news. It's only 20 past nine. Oh. We'll God, be in three we're, minutes. We're even further on than I thought. Yeah, man. My gosh. Wow. Don't go anywhere. Come back after this. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. Donald Trump. If you choose to have someone who's a criminal as president, I have to accept your choice. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence? I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about sport today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man, and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday. Uh, uh, we slick it, poor and timorous beastie. Open a panic in my breastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so <laughs> many politicians now who just said, my dad was a boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that?
If you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win, he obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that's done is actually make him more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, or that's the way it comes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome, Matt. And uh, this is James Well Unleashed with... Starring Ash. Yeah, we've now finished our food. We feel better. No, I've still now, got a bit. The problem is we finish at ten. I'm bloated a bit now. And eating yeah. after ten. Well, I have a waistcoat that matches this shirt. It doesn't yeah, fit. It holds it all in. I yeah. caught it, isn't it? Yeah, so I've got to go on a diet. I really have. I don't worry um, about it. Right, man. let's take some calls before we take our next guest, George in uh, Leicester. Yes? George, what do you want? Who are you? George, turn your radio off Who are or we? your oh, TV and listen down the phone. Who did you just ring, George? I rang. Um... James Ware. Right, OK, so it's pretty good chance that that's who you're talking to now, isn't it? But it might not be. It might well, not be. Not, oh, you're, not, you're not James Ware. Yeah. I am, not, I am James Ware. And you're not George. I am George. Who said so? How do we know? And how do we know you're George? You might not even be in oh, Leicester. I don't know what you are. Hang on a minute. I, I, what what I do you mean, know. hang on a minute? You phoned me. I how didn't phone you. How dare you? Hang on a minute. What? I, I said only intelligent speak. callers. We haven't got a minute. This I is live to TV. I speak to James Ware. Yeah. So I so I could get through to Ash. Why do you want to get through to Ash? Because I like Ash. Another one. Say, th so sure. Say that again. I like Ash. Why? Because he's an honest person. Yeah. How do you know that? Because you can just tell. Can you? Just tell. Can you? Why don't you just get fucked, me old mate? Why don't you take your inadequacies, you your unintelligent uh, stupidity, yeah, and disappear? You see, you should have let me handle that. You know, it would have been all all right. If, now, look, all could you just give us control of the calls? We'll decide when they go on and off, right? <clears throat> I thought you made some great uh, points. Right, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Why have I got loads of calls on hold and none can't we just click on it? the let's air? Yeah, it okay. Well, let's yeah, just give me the thing. The mouse. Useless. These people. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Oh, we've got Callum. 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 Hey, how are you two doing? We're hey, good, Callum. Take that as a, a as gone granted. Hey, what can we talk? Uh, what can we talk to you about? Well, I really enjoy the show. I find it quite entertaining. First but of all, I where in Yorkshire are you? Because that's the biggest county, uh, and well, James loves Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Biggest county? Oh, it's a, it's a big region, isn't it? But where are you in Yorkshire? Are you in Leeds? If you yeah, shut up talking, well, I over found out he's in Leeds. No, but well, you what keep. What I want to talk about is, thank you. Uh, you know, there's a, I think there's a thing about northern and southern friendliness that a story in the news this uh, this week sort of illustrates. Mm -hmm. And it, it, obviously, it's on the on a me out that's to the victims of that acid attack. But this happened on a busy street where there were loads of people about, and, and they're letting go. And I can guarantee you that if that happened in Leeds, Manchester, Edinburgh, or like anywhere up in the north, people would have stopped him. And, and like he's literally three now, you know what I mean? So I think that's I don't think that's a very clever thing to say, Callum, to be honest, because mm. unless you were in that situation, you don't seriously know what you were doing. The majority of people who were around there 
Uh, well, women with children. Innocent was people sort of got thing. hurt helping out, actually. Yeah. About five people ended up in hospital actually helping you out. talk about migrants. Ooh. Callum. Get a little bit of Callum, shock. disappear. You're an idiot. Which is embarrassing when you come from Northern Yorkshire. Racist against Southerners. Yeah, how can you be racist against Mind Southerners? You, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he did have a point. OK, right. Let us um, move on to our next guest, OK? Uh, this is a guy called Nick Yarris, um, and he's a survivor of death row. In 1982, he was convicted of murder, rape and abduction. He was sentenced to death, and in 1989, he became one of America's first death row inmates to demand DNA testing to prove his innocence. Uh, in 2003, he became the 13th person, 13th person in the United States to be exonerated by DNA testing on death row. And Nick Yaris joins us now. Nick, good evening to you, sir. Hi, Nick. Good evening, James. How are you, sir? It's nice uh, to see you. Yeah, I'm Hello. very, very good. We. I've got a little problem with the line, so I think what we'll do is put some more calls on and we will come back and get you on a better line because it's um, delayed and sounds like I'm talking... That wasn't talking, the RMT guy again, Talking to... No, it looks very similar. There's a the call RMT on guy. here. Um, OK, right. Which call? Jim in Livingston. To? Jim um, in Livingston. Jim, hi, you're on the air. Jim. Hello, how are you doing? Jim, we're doing well. What can we uh, do for you? I was just to uh, see if I could be put through to James, that was all. Oh, I'm not having another one like Why, this. do you want to talk th to hang Ash? On, hang on, just, just you want to talk to Ash, Ash, don't you? Are you doing this on purpose, or is the person who is answering the calls not doing it properly? Chuck? I like it. Honestly, did you just put them... I see, OK. I fine. like the way they don't know Jim, they're on the show. you're through to James Whale. I'm surprised you didn't. Starring know. Ash. And uh, what would you like to ask? I was just about religion, Jim. Go on. And don't call me Jim. My name but is his James. name's Jim. So yeah, his name's Jim. Oh, sorry, sorry James. It's just that Jim's like... Jim, yeah, Jim. Yeah. Like... Well, that's rubbish, but OK. His name is... James is James, a very Scottish name. name. His name's Michael, anyway. Yeah, uh, let's not confuse him. Um, uh, what about religion? Right, well, what was, was James, uh, that uh, you, were, you, you sort of don't like... You don't seem to like religion at all, right? Religion but, is, in my uh, view, the root of all evil, but I do accept that people... Have freedom of choice, and quite rightly too, you can follow any he religion baptized, you want. And it's funny because his brother's just, a religious Christian, just, uh, and he's gone against it. It's like yin and This yang, glass isn't of water it? nearly went in your face, and I'm getting really. I'm, I'm just trying making a seriously point. to tell you that if you keep interrupting, no, but it's I interesting you were brought up in the same place, and yet one's religious and one isn't. On the show again. I'm What's the difference, though, uh, Jim? What is your point? And be quiet. Well, well, it's interesting. The point is, James, is it like? You know, you, I think you think it starts wars and it starts, like, friction between people and all <coughs> that, you know? Jim, I, that's obviously what I think, and, and I, it obviously does. But what is your point about it? Well, well, you could say that about anything. You could say that yeah, about different economies. you could. You could. Well, no, I don't think economy w starts wars particularly, except maybe uh, when you go to the ballot box. But it's what tribalism is, starts yeah, well, wars. Okay. Tribalism. What is it you're p trying to make? What religion are you? Well, I I'm a Protestant, James. I I'm, I'm, Isn't that I'm a like Christian? Catholic. Isn't that just another name for a Christian? It is. There's nothing well, wrong with Christian. Why don't you just say you're a Christian? But the Protestant well, and the Catholics have a problem. Could you know. shut the flip no, up? Says there's no religious problem. Oh, would you shut in, up? In Scotland, with you? you get the sectarian. I'm seriously sorry about this, and Chuck, I'm seriously, we're talking about it. Yeah, Ash. <laughs> right. Um, sorry about that, Jim. So, what, why not just call yourself a Christian? Well, I am a Christian, and Christianity is a wonderful thing. <laughs> but, but well, it is for you also. and Ken. Uh, uh, there's a lot of division between, uh, obviously, Catholics and Yeah, so what is, you're coming on to say everybody loves each other in religion and then you're telling me there are lots of um, uh, differences. So make your mind up. Which is it you're talking about? Good point. Well, well no, I'm, I'm, Christianity is a wonderful thing because it, it, it promotes goodness. It pr promotes yeah, but only the right type no, of Christianity, in your no, view. it doesn't. It promotes divisiveness. It promotes hatred in certain areas, and right. it's condescending beyond belief. What do you think about in Catholic my Catholic view? What do you think about Can the we just Catholic stop it now? version of Christianity? If this is going too far. No, so, but I want to really. know his view on it. I want to ask him what he thinks of that. You'll have to take him out. He's a he just. I'm a big lobbyist. Uh, Jim. Hi. What do you think of what I said? 
What did you say? See, you you see, this no, is ridiculous. I, Jim, what do you I've think about the Catholic I'm, I'm, I'm you, the Catholic I am version, seriously thinking of, of... Just shut up. This is interesting. Having this you is, sat. very interesting. I'm going to talk to the boss You'd about it. You'd have to it. employ me first. I wouldn't have to employ you. I'd just say I can't stand working with you anymore, and no. then you'll go. <laughs> what did you uh, say? Can I just, yeah, just get paid. Yeah, I'd be very careful if just I were you. Just get paid, then. Jim... No, they'll right. just get rid of you. It doesn't matter. You're useless. Pay, as long as I get paid. Jim. Bye. So, there's nothing more divisive than religion. No, I don't believe that for a second, James. I think religion's a wonderful thing. Why? Uh, you promote hatred. I think, I think, look at communism, for instance. No, no, right? listen to what I'm saying and answering it. Christian, not Christian, all religious people promote hatred in their books. Not at all. It, it's it, it's all about it's it's all about believing and having faith and hope and and these are wonderful things. These are one of the best. These are the best attributes in uh, human hu humanities that that people can have. You know, is to have hope. You talk rubbish. Okay. So why are homosexuals going to die in hell if they don't change their ways? Getting into it now, aren't you? Well, that, that's not my personal belief, you know. I, I don't believe that. I, I, you know, like, people who are gay are, are people, you know. They're people. You know, they're all people. What are you they're talking about? Then why do you condemn them? I don't... Not personally, James, no. But you believe they'll that's go to hell if you're Christian? Not at that's all. That's a good point. That, Thanks, man. Not at all. Well, you're dumbing that's down your own religion, then. That's not the truth. You, you presumably, you can't have sex <laughs> unless you're married, is that right? Oh, not at all, not at all. You can't no, you talk that. rubbish, mate. You're not, you don't really a believer. You're a believer in the bits that... You're half-hearted. ...that you, uh, you agree with. At least you're not Ken proper, believes it. Yeah. Not at all. You're, ju you're, you're just one of these people who think because, oh, I'm, I'm Christian, I'm yeah. therefore better than other people, or yeah. I'm a Muslim, therefore I'm better than other people. No, you're yeah. not. Never. We're very humble people. We're very no, you're humble. not. No, you're not. We're you humble. go around with this air of I'm superior because I believe in this deity or that deity. No, you're not. Oh, you're no, not just, humble at all. You are. I, I parked accidentally in a church car park. It's a humble day, brag. It's called a humble and the, brag. And the bloke came out and said, "You can't park here." I said, "Oh, I'm only going to be two minutes." You can't park here. I said, "Who yeah. are you?" He said, oh, "I'm the vicar." I said, "Well, I'm only going to be two minutes. Where's oh, your yeah. uh, Where's your grace I had a vicar come up to me in the graveyard and go, "What are you doing here?" I was just looking around the graveyard. Yeah. So mind your own you know, business, being vicar. being somebody who says, "Oh, I'm a great believer." Doesn't mean you're a good or a nice person. I like graveyards. Some are. I'm not saying they're all. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to believe whatever you want. You should. But the wars in this world primarily, primarily, are caused by religious beliefs. Apart from the First World War and the Second World yeah. War and all the other big wars. Well, 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 yeah, but the little ones. The little, the little skirmishes, Well, after the yeah. big wars, yeah. we've had continual religious fights between war. people and of religion. And communism religious. and yeah. the yeah. Cold War. Which well, communism in itself is it's a, a religion. Sort of re Anti-religion, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Anyway, sorry, yeah, so you you admit that you've been wrong and you apologise for phoning in. Well done. Neville, well, I, I love you guys. You I love you guys. Me. You're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> to see you. But, <laughs> I nearly I, I said hallelujah, but that might have been... It's like confession, isn't it, coming on this show? You feel better. Yeah. But that's not proper. So are you, are, are you, do you go to church every Sunday? Yes, I do, actually, James, yes. I, I, do you watch I Songs of Praise? Do you watch, with Alan Jones, since it moved yes, to the afternoons? Did you watch Songs Harry Seacombe on Highway back in the 80s? Songs of Praise are... Nevertheless, Harry Seacombe in the 80s, Highway, did you watch that? Yes, Harry He's yeah. Christian, that's I good enough for me. Jim, good to talk to you, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. It's a good Christian. Um, we were going to talk to uh, Nick. Uh, we're going to talk to him next week on the show because for some reason the signal between Britain and America at the moment, I hate to think what the reason is, is terrible. We can't get a good we'll line. Have him on next week. We as long as he hasn't week. been executed. Yeah. yeah, he's not on death row. That's it. He was no, on no, death row can, for 20 years. They can change their mind again. Years, and now he's out writing books about it, and we'll find out mm. more about it next week. Um, I was going to say something very important there, and I've forgotten completely what it was, which is probably just my age. Uh, Stephen in Yorkshire, you're on the air. Stephen. Hello, is that me? Yeah, yeah. Well, is, seriously, we guys, earlier, we? are we are we not? 
Uh, hi guys. Oh, um, thickos, are you, are no, you in, are you in lead, no. Stephen? Stephen, and that, now what the other uh, producer so that Job's well, he never has his callers checked. No, I don't. I'll get you on as as I can, and uh, I don't know what you want to talk about. So that's what I'm saying. What do you want to talk about? Well, I'd like to go back to the beginning of the program, which I'll be honest with you. Go on. Was the first time I've actually James Well, I used to listen to you in the late nineties. Quite right, and Ash, I was there then as well. Okay, Stephen, let's get uh, to the I'm point. Sorry, let's I'm get sorry, to the I point. Ash, uh, Stephen, let's get James, to the point. James well over the yeah. superstar of my time. Let, no, let's, you make me not, giggle not so Good. Let's get to the point, mate. What? What is it? Right, yeah. straight to the point. Forget the past. Right here and now. It's Good. the first time I've watched your program, and it's reflecting on the foreigners in the land, and. I totally agree with you, James. Well, it's not reflecting on all foreigners in the land. I have no problem with people wherever they come from. I have no problem with immigrants coming into this country legally. I have no problem with people coming here as long as they live, like we do in Britain, and not set up little cults and mm. wear clothes as if they're in other countries. If you want to come here, you learn the language within two years, yeah. or you're asked to go back. If you come here legally, you learn the language. If you come here illegally... If you come here illegally and you actually um, you actually start spreading hatred and things, you get kicked out. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you want to we change need, the country, we don't want you. You know, this is what annoys me as well. We've got doctors and nurses and carers uh, on a special list saying they get priority to come into this country. That's fine at the moment. We also need waiters and chefs and people who want to come Bangladesh here. Bangladesh chefs to come we here. need a shortage. Um, uh, of, all, of all French, Fruit Italian, pickers. you know and fruit pickers and people to do those jobs. Also on the back of that, I would like to say that if you are on benefits and you are perfectly fit and able to work mm. three months and then the state will find you a job yeah. because there are too many lazy so-and-sos who are claiming money off people like you and me, mate. Um, Even Stephen, if it's sewing mailbags, just something that's useful to the community. Yeah, absolutely. You're picking up litter. Yeah, painting yeah. Yeah. my fence. So, Stephen, that's where we're at, OK? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your time. Another satisfied customer. Thank you, Stephen. Talk again. Give us a call. Do you know, I'm going to start taking calls on visual, I think. Mm. Uh, Rebecca. Hi. I the... hope your hand's free. In a car. It's... I am not driving. It's my partner's driving. Oh, OK. Good. You're in well, it's a Where very in Birmingham, good... are you? It's a very good line in a car. Such a cold build. Mm. Yeah. Rebecca, what can we do for you? I want to talk about the way that the toilet roll should be put into the holder. Mm. Yeah. Now, that because is a very, very good point. Why haven't we done holder? that before? Put what in a holder? Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca, exactly. you explain. He doesn't know. OK, so my partner will just throw it in anyway, and that's just... Really what are you talking about? That sounds terrible. terrible. Sorry, will, you be, what in? will you be quiet and listen? Disgusting. And you've got blood <laughs> oh, no, pizza, pizza. Pizza on your beard. Um, right, sorry, Rebecca, yeah, so... The way you put toilet paper onto the roll. Go on. Yeah, so it, the way that it should be done, you put it in properly so that the toilet roll flaps over the front and then you fold it into a nice V shape. That's dangerous because you could trip over that. No, that's. It looks very, no, it's not dragging on the floor. He's got no. Oh, I like idea. mine to drag on the floor. Mm. Well, that's so... a bit strange, isn't it? I don't know why you would want that. And can I tell you, it must come over the top rather than coming underneath. Yeah. What, the, when you, the way you wipe it, you mean? <laughs> oh, you are such an arm. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I... Uh, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick there. I think I've he done has. that as well. The Romans the used a stick. Yeah, I they think they he shared used... a stick. You know, the Romans, they used to have a stick and they'd have it in a toilet bowl. And then the next guy would come in yeah. and use the same stick. And a sponge, apparently. A sponge on the end of a stick. We don't have any sticks in our house. We only have toilet rolls. Yeah. You should try a sponge on a stick. And, you know, this is one of the things that never gets talked about. Yeah, and it makes me really angry. Yeah. Why is that? And it's like guys have this tendency to dribble on the seat, don't they? Not with their oh, mouth. Yeah. Not with their mouth. And that is just, they never look and wipe it off or lift the oh, I seat do. up. And, oh, I don't you know, do that, they but never, I wipe it off. They never, ever, ever think about personal hygiene. If you go into a public toilet, you go into a lady's toilet, 
What's, and it, I, lo- what's it like? It's then? lovely mm. and it smells nice. And how it's would clean. you know how it lovely could, the ladies' toilet goes is? in them? Well, on occasion when I've been in a place where there's no other loo, I've had to go into the ladies. You know, if I wanted oh. to, if I wanted to go to the loo now. And there's hardly anybody out there, nobody in the offices, obviously, yeah. this time of Saturday night. I'd probably go in the first one that I came to, which was probably a ladies' Well, room. at the old talk It'd radio, so we used much... to use the ladies, because they, they were only yeah. single <laughs> uh, door, and they were much smelled nicer, and they were pink. Yeah. Well, so why is it men are just vile and disgusting when they go to the toilet? Do you know what? I'm going to let my partner answer that one. Is that OK? Yeah, yeah. He's a man, so he'll be best suited. Are you sure he's right a man? Time. The last time I checked, he was a man. Okay. <laughs> What's his name? Guys, nice to meet you. Um, I, I think my partner has too much time on her hands. That's why she can decide on which yeah. way the toilet roll goes. You're a busy guy. You haven't got time to think about how your wife, you, you know, all that. Do you mean you and him and make a fine couple? Maybe where, you should, yeah. and I'll look after Where, where, where in Birmingham are you from? But I think we should agree that she, only she so, changes the toilet roll from now on. Well, no, it's very easy to change the toilet roll. Yeah, Just that's make not the, the man's paper job, isn't it? The man. comes over the top. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. We've had a text hot in about this. Tip of the day, Ooh. trail a six-foot length of toilet tissue across your bathroom floor over the rim of the lavatory bowl and into the water. Flush <laughs> and watch as the paper is eaten like somebody sucking spaghetti. I'm going to try that. Harrison Ford... <laughs> Barnard Castle. God, man. Excellent, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't wait to get home and try that. To annoy your wife. Well, yes, because, you know, and toilet paper, let me tell you, is very, very expensive. Mm. And I yes, made... Exactly. The... That's why some have to resort to sticks, isn't it? And yeah. sponges on sticks. Yeah. I made a mistake of ordering some on Amazon a while ago, and it looked fine, quilted and everything else. Oh, and, and your finger went through, yeah. I ordered... I ordered a hundred... I I remember you telling me about that, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, got to, I've, I've, I've got to go to a break. Thank you, Rebecca. Best call of the uh, latter part of the evening. It's terrible when that happens. Oh, yeah, and, and you just, you've yeah, got you to tear off more wash your hands, more. Though, really. Yeah, sure. and when you blow your nose on it, it just yeah. goes through it. It's yeah. terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, we'll take a break. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. Donald Trump. If you choose to have someone who's a criminal as president, I have to accept your choice. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence? I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. A woman can become a man and a man can become a woman. And if you think that, you're certifiably insane. Slick Rishi seemed intelligent, forensic, even a bit of a statesman, the type of man you trust to look after your house while you went on holiday. This concept that actually kids wouldn't carry knives if they could go and play tiddlywinks at the, you know, the corner of a street or whatever. I think it's a nonsense. Happy Thursday um, night. We slick it, cool and timorous beastie. Open a panic in thy beastie. Keir Starmer has accused the government of failing a generation after a record number of young people were killed last year using a knife or sharp object. We need to make sure that when we say we're going to ban them, we actually do ban them. There are so many politicians now who just said my dad was a boss. Right? <laughs> yeah. like, you're David Cameron. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Like brought to you by Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London. Very rarely meet anybody that says, you know, the thing about London is it's got a great mayor, <laughs> Sadiq Khan, brilliant guy. In the cities, there are areas where there are no vegetables. It's particularly difficult for those people to do what Mark is saying. If he comes up with this argument again, I'll sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> all of these funny little factions with their funny little names, the New Conservatives, the ERG, the Common Sense Research Group, the Red Wall, Red Trouser, Popcorn. I mean, Popcorn, what, what is that? 
if you're talking about multiculturalism, it's working class white boys who get put in the army. The poorest people in society are the ones who are going to be put on the front line. Something is going horribly wrong. We can do a lot better. Donald Trump didn't just win, he obliterated. This is a guy facing nearly 100 criminal charges, and yet all that's done is actually making more popular. Trump is canny enough to know that all publicity is good publicity. I don't want a president who's been impeached. If he's able to bamboozle you, or that's the way it comes. I did my six months, I came back, nobody would touch me. I put my head down, I persisted, I carried on. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues. Or the stories that impact your life. Jim, who was on at the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Because... Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. Welcome back, Unleashed, the last 10 minutes, and uh, we we always, at this point, invite our producer, who's responsible for everything, so don't complain uh, to me. Um, but I, you sent me an email mm. saying what I could say and what I couldn't oh, yes. say. You yeah. ignored it. And I, apparently, I can't say China. Man, you can't say that. Where did this come from? <laughs> you can't say on. China something. Oh, the, oh, the... And rolled your eyes. Yes. This is from Ofcom. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't read the whole list of Ofcom words. I mean, That's just point, what, you know. what is the point of organisations that are supposed to keep, you know, who send out rubbish them. like that? You don't want to offend your viewers and listeners. You know that. James. I don't want to offend them. He loves them, offending so, them. So don't watch if you're easily yeah. offended. But the most but offended people do watch. Well, that's... They love it. Because they strange. love it when you offend them. But, yeah. you yeah. know, what is wrong with me saying you're from China? We'll talk what about it wrong? after the show. What, so what should I say? No, that's all right. No, that's fine. That's Hong Kong? Although not according to that police woman in uh, yeah. King's well, Cross. Why don't we have a chat about Steve Headley? Because if you've just oh. tuned in, you missed I the car crash, which was forgotten. the Steve Headley incident. So Steve Headley was the former boss of the RMT. Assistant. General, assistant general, assistant boss. General. And he came in to plug his new book. But they ended up talking about Palestine. Well, because he was wearing and badges and said, yeah. and a scarf I'm dedicating 25% of the He called us all terrorists. Britain, yeah. Israel, yeah. Israel terrorists. He said, he said Britain was a terrorist genocide. state. All yeah. the crap they signed. Um, it all kicked off, and the first time ever, you actually got out of your chair. Well, I was so angry, and none of you, you lot, what's wrong with you lot I was there? watching it. Because well, we're not as built as you. You're I'm stacked, Yeah, but I'm old. I thought you could handle it on your own, you know. I probably could, but you'd be better. You're 20 years younger. You should have been over there. And the rest... Oh, I was tied up to the well, things. Well, shall we have a look? Because if you've just tuned oh, in, you missed it. So this is this is really James Well kicking Steve Headley oh, out of the studio. Just didn't hit it off. Really this really government are now being brought before yeah, the world because everyone has recognised that there was a genocide going on. This is what we're not talking rubbish. You are, you say. Palestinian people are an occupied people and they've got a right to defend themselves. They are now. No, no. They were in 2005. They were totally free in 2005. Hamas didn't exist in 1947 when you started occupying paying their it's land. So Hamas it. didn't exist. I mean, we have Netanyahu making this is the so same statements about Hamas amateurish. that he did about um, the PLO. Some of them very similar. Wrong. Very, very he did similar. About the PLO. Same thing. Oh, terrorists. Oh, really? Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Your state is yeah. a terrorist state, isn't it, Ash? That's what? the reality. No. Britain's a terrorist state. No. America's oh, a terrorist state. Then? And Israel is a terrorist state. Think that? This is the reality of it. Yes, yeah. they are. Yes, they are. What, what, you know, it's not a terrorist state, is it? It's These a terrorist state. Right, uh, James, you're trying Al, to assault me, James. You're I'm trying to assault me, James. I'm an old man don't, with cancer. You well, can James, don't, don't please. Well, do what don't I please. ask and go. No, I'm not going to go. And you won't be able to remove me, James, so please don't. Why? You, what are you going to do? I'm well, I'm making, a sta I'm, a, I'm making a statement here for Palestine. It's a statement of rubbish. I'm choking rubbish. Take this book. And go out and support Palestine. I know you want to hit me. I'm oh, not going to hit you, James. No, you're not. You're not, absolutely not at all. right. Not at you're all. not. 
Not no. even quite Hamas with Israel. You're a silly little man. Well, you're a silly little man. As much as a genocide like. enabler. A genocide enabler, James. Yeah, you're so crap. Gen you're that's a all you can spout. Enablers. All you can spout is that crap, isn't it? Genocide no, enabler. From the river that's to the sea. Like, like genocide enabler. Uh, yeah, I know to to my book as well. The problem with social media is that you know you cut little bits out, and some mm. the hundred thousand totally people watch that on X. Yeah. It seems Eight very to clear nine. to me what but, was going on there. Uh, you can't if you come into a program and it's a live show. Mm. You cannot declare that this country is a terrorist state. Yeah, and I'm well, sorry also when time. we're not. No, of mm. course we're not, mm. um, um, because we have a, a small crew, not like some of the other shows around here. Uh, and and you lot are all very, very young little and very people. sort of yeah. Uh, you wouldn't come. You're supposed to protect us, and you're supposed to come in and say to them, "Would you?" And if somebody won't go, mm. there must be somebody there that can help them. Yeah, we haven't. Well, got but, but time. Ash is your bodygguard. Yeah, yeah, That's why you say it. I was ready in case it got yeah. serious. Don't as worry far about that. Behind as he well, I get. set De Ball in because I thought if there was a girl in the studio, all yeah, the I men know. would behave themselves. How wrong was I? <laughs> I know. Anyway, you're I'm, all I'm showing sorry, off you're all to her, aren't you? Off like, them, yeah. Aren't we? yeah. yeah. I'm sorry yeah. about that. I wasn't. I'm um, sorry about that. I just yeah. wanted the guy out of the studio who was yeah. just sh yelling out racist abuse at us. Yeah. And we should mention Steve's well, book is available now. It's called Derry Boy. Yeah. Yes, I wouldn't <laughs> buy it. I mean, he was um, right, but he was sort of comparing us to terrorists, which is a just yeah. a ridiculous statement. Yeah, yeah. uh, next up, TV Hell. We're going to show you two clips that have uh, embarrassed the internet this week. First up, you were talking about the toilet roll yeah. holder scandal. That was interesting. Because people I mean, aren't sure if you should put the toilet roll paper over or oh, under. Over. It you all ends under, up in the same place. But you say it? under. Over. I don't and then you accidentally order some cheap paper and you put your finger through it once. And oh, it was. I've you got a chocolate. You got a chocolate finger. <laughs> um, so You're anyway, my I thought you would enjoy this. This is something in America, America you can buy. It's called the Comfort Wipe. For over 100 years, we've been scrunching and folding toilet paper. Finally, there's a better way. Comfort Wipe, the sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. It extends your reach a full 18 inches while it follows the contours of your body and comfortably cleans. It's as easy to use as a shower brush. Just pop on the toilet tissue and when through, just press the release button and the tissue drops right into the toilet. Think about it, toilet paper is really archaic and disgusting. The Comfort Wipe is a modern solution. That's right. Never touch another dirty toilet tissue. Being a big guy certainly has its advantages and its disadvantages. This is a great product. It's embarrassing to have someone help you with your personal matters. Mm. So what do you think? The Comfort Wipe? If you were on Dragon's Can you Den, imagine? if they were pitching yeah. you that product on okay. Dragon's Den, you want to know what I'd say? What would you say? You're Theopophetus. Yeah, okay, well, I was first of all saying, so uh, how many of these have you sold? Uh, a million. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, it looks to me like uh, as soon as you get one, you will find out what a mess it makes of your backside, <laughs> and you'll probably never use it again. Are you so talking I, from experience? No, no, I'm not, but I can just see, and it's open to abuse a product like that as well. <laughs> How would you abuse that product? I'm not There's a lot of discussing. <laughs> Chris says get a bum gun. Is that a product? That a sounds bum American. Gun? Yeah, that some, sounds like a sex you toy. You can blow it off. Why don't we just mm. go back to having what they have in, in, in a uh, European days. countries? Or a bidet. A bidet. It a is bidet. the best way, isn't it? A bidet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people don't even, British people don't seem to know what they are. Well, I've got a great B-Day story. Other countries have bidets, uh, don't they? I was once on holiday when I was about seven with my brother, and my mum, we were in this Paris hotel, and my, just me and my brother, and my mum said, if you need to go to the toilet, go in the B-Day, because there's no bidet. toilet in there. The bidet. Anyway, I woke up in the morning, and I, I went to, just rubbing my eyes, going from my first one. And so there was a big thing in it. I go, oh. what the hell? And there was only uh, my brother in there. I said, have you done this? I was only seven. He you was said Johnny there. Gould? And he goes, he beater. denied it, as if, like, there was only two of us there. And anyway, that ended up in an in-betweeners movie. If I'd known, you know. It ended up in so an in-betweeners movie. So TV presenter Johnny Gould pooed in the bidet? Uh, well, he denies it. But it was right. only two of us there, um, and I didn't do it. And I I'm more uh, likely to think he did it. We're running out of time. Here's something else that you may want to use. If you didn't like the Comfort Wipe, yeah. check out the Aspray. Are you suffering from pungent pits? Foul feet? Beastly butt odor? How do you stop the stink? Hi, I'm Adam J, and this is Doc Bottoms A Spray, the all new, all over deodorant that prevents odors before they start and can be used anywhere, and I mean anywhere, on your body. 
A spray goes where other deodorants can't. A spray your butt. A spray your feet. A spray under your arms. You can even A spray your privates. A spray is safe for all your odor zones. A spray is 100% natural, chemical free, fragrance free, and offers 24 hour protection. Plus, it's made in. Listen. Did you set up that phone call about the toilet paper so it could lead into this? No, but it was Are ideal. Sure? No, it was ideal, wasn't I it? I used to have a pair of Asprey cufflinks. Asprey? I mean, yeah. I... Uh, Asprey, you mean? Yeah. Would, would you buy Asprey? No. I don't smell. L Lady Wales never... Oh, Lady flipping. Wales I never criticised your... Ass? Never. Your region? Never. Down under? No. No? Oh, oh, strange question to ask. I'm a serious me. broadcaster. Oh, you have an MBE now. I have an MBE. I'm a serious broadcaster. Let's not... Uh, I did one of those. They're called oh. infomercials. Yeah, yeah. What were you and, advertising? Um, a, a thing like a hair drum. It had little things in it, and you turned it on, and it patted Slapped your head. your head and made your hair and come back. That's like the, the Benny back. Hill thing. Yeah, yeah. But well, why yeah, did no, they no, get him to advertise? They, they had, it doesn't work, I did make it? a point saying, hasn't worked on me, and yeah. I quite like being bald, because yeah. I thought, it's quite, a, quite a good. I had to fly to America. Yeah. Go down to the, the inventor of it, I think, who was down in... Was that or was that something else? Anyway, I had to go... And, and it was dubbed way. in loads of languages. I saw yeah. it in German. They were like, yeah, I'm James Well. And it was all like a foreign... We should recreate that now. You should mime and you speak... Well, we could probably God. find it online. God. Yeah, bitte. Get the uh, bold slap it, is it? Slap it, Funkton. <laughs> That's excellent. How many did you sell? I've no idea. I mean, I don't know. And you but tried it. it used to be bald and...